and we turn to the world of Haldrum and the world of the Elder Gods. Reggie and Kai, as well as um, Amy and Visky, are currently residing at the Midwall dig site after a semi-harrowing experience in the wall uh, dealing with ancient automatons that were guarding whatever was inside. Uh, after a night's rest, uh, Kai, uh, Kai and Reggie say goodbye to Visky and Amy as they realize they have uh, business in Arboreus and uh, decide to split off from the two and head on their own way. So you two wake up. Well, you've already woken up, but like you're you're getting breakfast with the uh, the archaeologists and uh, maybe we chatting some shit up. And uh, next, you got to decide what to do: go back to Midwall and turn in your quest, or go exploring. I'm down with that. I just want to know what we eat. Uh, it is not super. Awesome food, uh, particularly for you, Reggie. Uh, Fine. I'm for Kai, it, for this is like premium shit. Um, it's a, uh, it's um, it's wild boar that's been uh, uh, hunted, but it's it's cooked. Wait, boar for breakfast? Yeah, you can have boar for breakfast. Okay, yeah, um, boar for breakfast and. Uh, Boar equals pork. Pork bacon. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's fried bacon, but it's it's uh, it's boar bacon, uh, and uh, it's cooked in a way that a noble house probably would have it done a bit better. It'd be a bit more seasoning seasoning on it, and uh, it'd be a bit more cooked. It's not as cooked as it probably should, but for a pirate, you know, it's 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 a hearty breakfast right there. Ha, <laughs> Ted's dead. I can't be too much of a judge. I mean, food is food nowadays. So, bottoms up. I just eat it. Yeah, he'll eat it. He'll be like, oh, well, dude, I've had like pig one time before. This is like gamey, but it's radical. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, you might have to tell me more one day, but uh, I think we should probably get going back to Midwall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's bro. Oh my god, I forgot the names of your retainers. <laughs> they're in uh, my. Uh, they're in my. Bi yeah. Yeah, they're in my bio. Boo boo and Zizi. <laughs> no. No boo boo, no ZZ, stop it. Reggie two and Reggie three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are those two up to? How are they vibing? How are they surviving? Uh, well, Cole and Juan were um not really from a noble house. They um uh they they um they both came from different houses where they um. Uh, provided some service to your family and that's how they met you so they're okay with this breakfast um it's more akin to what they're used to um but uh they uh they're they're having a good time maybe they're chatting up with you or hanging out with the uh the uh, archaeologists and seeing what else they found in there all right well, good for them they're usually just always follow me around and it's annoying so you know whatever uh, they want to do that distracts them from reggie for a little bit is fine he does appreciate his friends but sometimes they're a bit much uh, all right and uh yeah the day is yours well kai uh i say we don't really know each other all that well we just kind of were assigned one another at the uh, guild hall. So uh, tell me a bit about your life, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure, no problem, dude. So, like, hold on, let me get my notes. 
He has to open up his character backstory. No, I wanted to. I have to the, write his uh, character backstory. The world yeah. map, because um. Oh, I can uh. Send you there. Let me peep that. Really oh, this quick. is the treasure I got. I don't think I ever split it up last session. I wanted to right man man has to right so like my uh my peeps my family we were like ocean faring in like this sort of like submersible boat and then we like crashed on the shores of Manhestia so like we just kind of naturally started like making our own like you know like a little kingdom making our way and like the other dwarves came around and they were like saw and we were like saw and uh yeah but like I've never really been one for like the forge or like digging. I've always really liked the open sea, which I've heard is like incredibly strange in terms of my peeps. But you know, um, that's just kind of what I did. You know, big connection with Nietzsche, and I'd get out there and I'd rip some gnarly waves. And uh, one day I decided I wanted to like go on an adventure, so my dolphin peeps just kind of like brought me here kind of like you know took a bundle with me and i was like all right fam see you later high tide and then i just kind of like i went it was like really far and long but eventually i made it here so you sailed across the ocean on the backs of dolphins and just arrived on the shore and was like i guess to quote in your own words uh gnarly uh also, yeah, for the dicks. sake of your background, I'd say you managed to wild shape into sea creatures a <laughs> level early. Because <laughs> you get that my next man. level, but... Uh, my man's became a dolphin. Yeah, you, you swam with the dolphins as a dolphin. But that's all you okay. managed to do. <laughs> you haven't right, managed yeah, to fish yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, so, like, that's, that's what I did, bruh. That's how I got here. Took a long time, but I did it. That's you know? rather c peculiar. You see, uh, my stepfather was a dwarf, much more akin to. Uh, per excuse me for being rude, but uh, living in the mountain and such. I've never met a dwarf similar to you, one who, instead of the home in the cold mountains, prefer the warm sands of a beach. It's quite interesting and exotic, one might say unique. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did not mean any offense. It's just, it's interesting. You're an interesting individual, Kai. Oh, thanks, brah. You too. But like, nah, dude, it's it's cool. I mean, like, I know I'm weird. My people are a little bit weird from like regular dwarves too, but you know, they still try. They're like in this mountain near a beach, and like, yeah, so. I guess it all works out then. Yeah. Uh, if you wish to indulge me for a little bit, my story is not a very so happy one. Uh, in short, I was the last child born of a noble family, and they decided that they were done with me due to uh, certain things about my physicality that were completely out of my control. So I came over here with Colin Juan, as he kind of points over to the two. Uh, and, Juan waves. <laughs> and I've just been so ready. trying to get by the best I can, given my situation. Money is hard to come by when you are surrounded by it, but it was never promised to you. Word. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit if you ask me, but uh, noble houses do what noble houses does. Oh, that that's Cole. Yes, Cole, I'm very much aware. That's that's what happens when you're in my disposition. A frail man who can't even carry a, a lobster trap. Oh, so like your dad got peeved that you had noodle arms and like didn't want to give you any money? No, 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 no. My mother, my father married into the family. That's why I have a stepfather. Ah. Uh... Well, that's messed up because like you know you're supposed to have like a special bond with your mom you know like my dad didn't want me to go and he was like nah kai 
you got to be like in the mines and shit, mining for iron and getting strong and builds character. Got to grow that beard out long, bruh. And then my mom was like, no, hold your dreams, Kai. Go wherever you want. Go where the sea takes you. Just hope that one day it'll bring you back home. And I was like, tits, mom, I'll be back in a few years. Maybe with some grandkids. I don't know. Well, I mean, a family's goal is to expand and continue its bloodline in one way, shape, or form, and that's what your family wants from you, and sadly, my family does not want that from me. I I believe uh, one of the few things my father said before he decided to outright shame me in front of multiple people was... Uh, if you were ever to bear children, they'd probably have arms like yours and couldn't even crawl. Nothing like s just sad little vegetables on the floor. And that's when mother heard and mother decided, you know what, maybe I made a mistake. And it was a very long and uh, heated discussion, but father's uh, not part of my life and I'm grateful for it. I don't really think it's totally fair that they judge you as harshly. Like, your older sister, she went through something so hard, but she managed to recover. They shouldn't yes, give well, up on you. Well, why would they care about the boy who only has the family name? I was not the promised anything. Anyway, I think uh, we've overstayed. Yeah, so Whatever like, you're ready to... We can head back to Midwall, bruh. But I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Like, you and me, we're the same. No money, bruh. So we gotta work and make that shmoney. Yep, we gotta make that money. Survive out in this world and uh, do our best. Tits. You know what? One of these days, I'm going to teach you how to surf. Do you need to have upper body strength for that? Nah. Nah, you In, just need to, check. like, let the waves take Yeah, uh, deception or persuasion, Kai? GM, roll it. Yeah. Okay. Perception. It's more fun that way. I mean, uh, not perception. Uh, persuasion, persuasion or deception. Persuasion. They both have a minus one. Let's let's give them that one. You are um, at first you're a little skeptical, Reggie, uh, but you can see that Kai is being truly genuine. Although he might be not totally thinking about the fact that you probably also need to swim. Uh, have like a degree of ability in swimming, which um, unfortunately you uh, kind of struggle with at times. Uh, but uh, he's being genuine about the surfing only requiring lower body strength. Well, uh, you know what, Kai, maybe once uh, I find myself more settled in this new life of mine, I'll take you up on that offer. I was always working near the ocean. They never really put me on the boats or anything, but... Oh, pardon, excuse me. Must have been the beverage I had this morning. It was just water. Look, when you have to burp, you have to burp. I was being <laughs> polite about it. Better out than in, I always say, bruh. Exactly. But, uh... Regardless of my past, uh, I think once we find ourselves settled and more acquainted with one another... I'll take you up on that opportunity. I've always wanted to enjoy the ocean. Nice. All right. Uh, All right. Well, whenever you two are ready, as I look over at Cole and Juan, yeah, we should probably yeah, get a move on. Good. We're good to go. Uh, 
I'll, uh, uh, Juan, did says, you remember? I'll, uh, I'll let the foreman know that we're heading out, and uh, I'll uh, quickly catch up to you guys. You can start going. All right. Start going. Cole, did you remember to pack your favorite pillow? Yes, I did. You're very and forgetful with that. It was one time, okay? Twice. We don't acknowledge the second time. That was not my I fault. I don't care if someone... <laughs> well, regardless of the matter, I'm glad you have it because all oh, those few days where you didn't have it the first time around, you were... You. And I just start walking. <laughs> harsh, Brody, harsh. Almost ah, it's stab fine. It's someone all... in rage one time. <laughs> it's... it's... don't worry about it, Kai. We've known each other for a long time. It's all in good jest and fun. Right, so the two of you, the three, four of you, fuck, uh, began walking uh, about, began the two hour to three hour walk back to Midwall. Actually, no, it took four hours. Never mind. Uh, the four hour walk back to Midwall. It's uh, about 8 a.m. in the morning. The sun is um, not quite peeking up over the wall yet that you're still in uh, dark shadow, but uh, you can see the sky is turning blue up above. All right. You said it was clear skies, right? Looking clear. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. It's blue sky. Okay. It's kind of hard to see uh, what's coming from the west because the uh, resting dragon mountains are right there. Uh, but uh, you're. Uh, it feels like it's going to be a good day. All right. Good days are always nice. It's easier on my body. Uh, maybe we'll do some wandering around Midwall and see what it has to offer and. Uh, what, what what's the day of the month? Does anyone know? Uh, it is. Um, I know you're using your real world months, but I don't remember if you ever said a day. I can't remember if I said a day last time. So well, it's clear I'm... skies. Is it nice out? Is it cold? Is it temperate? It's... Is it hot? I mean, no matter the time of year, the uh, the conditions all around Haldrum seem to stay consistent. Well, fuck. <laughs> so like, uh, there are seasons of course like the sun gets a little brighter and dimmer over the course right, of the so year how's, but it the so temperature how's doesn't the sun look really... oh the sun you can't see it yet oh. but this time of year uh it's a bit brighter it's it is like fuck it, it it's july it's august 3rd yo it's today <laughs> yo i love august 3rd yo love august 3rd it gotta be my favorite day <laughs> anyway um i'll just go Nothing like a nice summer day. Um, that's good that it's the third, though. I could, uh, I don't have to worry about paying my rent back in Lindell anytime soon. But, uh, All pipes up. I've I've already set it up, so you don't have to worry about it, Reggie. For how long, Cole? Um, about a about two months. Figured that that'd be about as long as we're away from Lindell at most. Please tell me when you do these things. Sorry, I, uh... You're forgiven. It's, you know, it's... I appreciate your guys' help in my trying times. It's but you two have to worry about yourselves as well. Are we, uh... I know you have... I know you have more money than I do most of the time, but... You two You're... need to worry about yourselves, too. You know they have a manner of acquiring money, although you're not entirely sure how they do it. Um, they definitely sell their bodies on the street. Oh my god! Cole is like a six foot five Chad Adonis, and Juan, Juan got that flair to him. Yeah, you expect that they might be like um, some sort of entertainers of some kind, but you're not entirely sure. You heavily suspect, though. <laughs> yes, I'm, and I don't pry. They like, <laughs> they like entertain old women with a lot of time and a lot of money. Literally, it's literally just as simple as, can you move me from the living room to the dining room so I can eat my tapioca? But with and your shirt just... off. <laughs> but with your shirt off. And he goes, okay, no problem. She goes, very good. Here's your payment for the day, 400 gold pieces. Yeah, it's just slice of like four platinum. 
but uh, I would try to make small talk with Kai every now and again mm-hmm. along the way. Uh, Ask him any cool nautical factors, and I'll try to respond with what I know from the family business. Oh, dude, so like cool nautical facts. <laughs> Cool lobster facts. <laughs> Lobsters were first considered the poor man's chicken. <laughs> uh, did you know that the phrase feeling blue originated at sea? Now, why is that? Uh, I don't know. Well, uh... From, uh... What I've gathered... I'm not sure how much you know about the animal, but you probably know a good chunk. But, uh, have you ever had a lobster? Oh, yeah. Some of my friends are lobsters, but then, like, others, I eat. Well, did you know that lobster is quite valuable? Yeah, like... One lobster, one lobster, if a good size, you know, not too big and not too small. If they're too small, you got to throw them back. If they're a female, most of the time we throw those back too. But um, if a a decent sized lobster, not even cooked or any of that, can go from anywhere to 25 to 50 gold pieces. For one. Now, if you had a boat and the means of capturing multiple and knowing their patterns of migration, which I'm sure you're probably aware of, you are a very ocean-inclined individual, you can make a lot of money. And that's how my family got going. Yeah, Kai, you've heard some gossip from the dolphins that uh, there are some crazy lobster migrations as they travel from one area to a realm north uh to an area of the ocean that's a bit in between um letty and um patrophia uh that is apparently called the lobster orgy rock <laughs> nice God damn it. yeah he'll just go yeah you know like uh, like i'm friends with like sea creatures and stuff but like first of all i went by like that lobster orgy area and like you know crazy but uh, <laughs> it, it was, yes. it was the, when you went there. It was the time of year where the lobsters weren't there, so you can't confirm if it was a lobster orgy. Well, or not. Right. but that's I am what aware the dolphins of, uh, call it. I am aware of this uh, lobster orgy rock. I I do believe they call it the Seaman's Pincer, though. <laughs> that's the proper name because, well, it kind of looks like a lobster pincer, and the lobsters migrate there. But usually, what we do is um. We get the areas of them heading towards there. Scoop up the male as not too many males, but enough. Put the females back, put the small ones back, and uh, simply uh, do that for a few weeks out of the year. And I do believe one year we made roughly uh, 2,000 platinum in lobster sales alone. But that was a really good year. We haven't had one like that since, but. Uh, I'm sure my time away, if things change with migrations and such, they'll probably make a lot more. Yeah, there's, like, these lobsters. I was talking to my dolphin friends, and did you know that, like, if they don't get, like, predatized by, like, you know, any of their natural enemies, they could just keep growing, like, infinitely? Yes, this is true. There are rumors that at the bottom of, uh... uh, I need the world map. (laughs) God damn. Ocean, 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 ocean. Is it all just called the Elder Sea? Uh, no, the Elder Sea is the kind of the in the inner area. Uh, it's Moonborn Ocean is the north part where most of the lobsters live. Yes. I heard that the bottom of the Moonborn Ocean, it's only been rumored with some evidence pointing to maybe its existence. There is a lobster so big that it could probably sink... A very, very large ship. Probably preferable to, like, a man of war. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. The Dolphins were talking about him. They call him the Eldritch Lobster King. So he exists? I I mean, like, I'm you assuming... You tried talking to the Dolphins about it, but, like, they wouldn't tell you any more about it. And one of them, like, had, like, this mile-long gaze when you tried to press him for more details on it. Yeah, but they're also, like, dicks sometimes, and they try to fuck with me. So, like, I, I don't actually know if they're being, like you know 100% honest all the time they have tried to fuck with you both literally and figuratively oh yeah <laughs> dolphins do what dolphins does what uh did you know that like they sleep with only half their brain and with one eye open so that they can watch for predators and other threats but at the same time they keep fucking with me and making me think that they're either sleeping or not sleeping and then I'm like yeah bro like what's good and then I think like they're dead or something and then like another one of them just like taps me from behind I turn around and it looks like he's sleeping and I'm like bro like what the fuck and then they just keep doing it until finally they start going eh! and laughing at me and I really don't appreciate it I mean, I'm sure most creatures in the ocean have to sleep with an eye or two open just to uh, ensure their own survival. Some people do that, actually, you know, once they're, uh, if they're afraid. Dude. Yeah. But yeah, did you know that lobster used to be called the poor man's chicken and originally it was incredibly cheap? I'm talking years upon years ago. I mean, I bet, you know, like, before people realize, like, the value of things, I feel that. Probably get yourself a, one of those 25 to 50 gold piece lobsters for a few copper back in the day. Word. Reggie, as you're traveling north back to Midwall, you think you hear some, uh, some, like, cries for help in the off to the west in the woods towards the foothills of the resting dragon mountains oh uh should we investigate that well what do they sound like um it's hard to tell at this distance but it sounds humanoid um and like someone is shouting in distress but you can't really gain too much from that all right, um, Kai, um, I think we should take a little detour. I hear someone in distress in the distance. Oh, all right, yeah, like, I'm all down for helping, Brodies. All right, uh, let's, us uh, make haste, and I'll start making my way in that direction. Making your way in that direction. Um, so you start trudging through the woods. Um, it's kind of difficult, it's... It's not really a well-traveled path. There aren't really any known caves in the Dragon Mountains in this area, so people don't really travel through this area too much. Um, but okay. uh, you're keeping an eye out for this individual uh, who's problem who's crying out for help. And uh, Reggie, make a um, make a perception check for me. Okay. Give me one second. I gotta get the sheet open again, real quick. Uh, perception. Oh. And you're you're trying to see any sign of this individual. Um, do you call out for them, or do you like just keep? I would I would out? shout every now and again. I'll be like, "Hello, hello, is anyone out there?" And every time you cry out, you um hear the person call back. Um, uh, but uh. They seem to be getting a bit closer, but you're still a bit of a ways off. Um, and oh, then, uh, as you're moving forward, you approach a, not really a clearing, but like where the trees are a bit more sparse and the bushes aren't as prevalent. And uh, you feel something catch your ankle. Oh. Um, and... Um, then it like it it feels like it's kind of pulling back on your ankle and then it gives way and i want the two of you to make deck saves okay. oh shit i'm not the worst at these never mind Oy. <laughs> <P -P -K. laughs> um okay so good news 
Uh, <laughs> Cole and Juan were a ways back because they're not really fighters, but they did want to stick by. Um, so they're not near you, but the two of you, uh, you, uh, you realize as it's too late, Reg, that, uh, you tripped a tripwire and a massive log comes swinging down from the tree, um, uh, sideways. So it's not like, not coming at yeah. you like, a yeah, I know what you mean. Thing. It's just more like a sweeping bar, kind of. And okay. uh, you both take um, my bludgeoning damage. Okay, that could have been much worse. And are knocked prone. Oh! 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 I must have triggered something by accident. I'm so sorry, Kai. Oh, that was like a total wipeout, bro. We should be on high alert. Uh, I'm gonna kind of like stand. You hear rustling in the bushes, and suddenly you are surrounded by three kobolds and a kenku. Uh -oh. um, I would, I would like to, in a gesture of goodwill, you know the, you know the pinky thumb thing, you know. The what? He's just oh, up, like dude. hang loose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's just gonna be like. A hang loose, Brad is like chill. <laughs> the kobolds are like, what does that mean? <laughs> Ms. Rapport, Hi, bro. are you Hi. cool? These these creatures are uh, very prone to stealing things. I believe we're being mugged. Uh, you... No, I mean like they might be cool. The kobolds <laughs> look at the kenku, and the kenku um, kind of. With its beak smiles a bit and makes the sound that you were chasing uh, when it opens its mouth. Just to kind of oh, let you know cool. that it lured you into this. <laughs> yep, I figured. Now oh. that I'm... After we got hit with the log. Uh, hello? What can we uh, do you for? Uh, the Kenku does some sign language uh, to the kobold. To one of the two, yeah. uh, the biggest kobolds. It's not, they're all small, but it's the biggest of the three kobolds. And... Servant's more for mouth and not fingers, so sadly, I, can't, I don't know sign language. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this might be like not like any standard sign language. It's probably more uh, the special signaling thing that these kobolds and the Kenku have developed so they can communicate. Because, uh, uh, you know, Kenku, they can't speak they can only mimic yes unless they're doc m <laughs> unless they're also um from the newer book <laughs> uh, dr strange multiverse of madness as i'll call it <laughs> right uh and uh the co the big kobold kind of um uh looks at um See, Reggie's taller, but Kai is bigger. Uh, looks at Kai and says, The boss wants you to give us um, any. Uh, hold on. Wait, what, 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 do you, what do you want him to give us? And the Kenku does some more gestures. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, any food you might have and um, uh, any. Uh, any gold you might you might have as well. Uh, we uh, we'd appreciate it very much, and uh, we let you go on your way once you do that. Well, uh, I uh, would hate to break it to you, but we are mere travelers. We don't have much gold to our name, and as for um, food, I could spare you some. But how much are you looking for? I could to spare some if you guys are hungry. Uh, one of the kobold, the, one of the, the smallest kobold looks at you and is like, we haven't eaten in three days. I, I will pull out a, a uh, dude, I got you. I'll pull out one ration for each of them and I'll just toss it to them, like each of them. So four rations, one for each. Yeah. Uh, 
they all quickly scarf it up. Um, the Kenku actually uh, takes a few bites and saves the rest of it for later. I was going to say, usually those things are for a whole day. Well, they, they scarf up like a like the portion oh, like... for like the the meal. Um, oh, okay. But the Kenku only eats part of that and saves the rest of it. Okay, I get you. I thought like you, it sounded like it, it, they were like scarfed down the whole thing like instantly. Um, I'll give them. I'll give them. Uh, I got ten of them. I'll just like because we're just we're going back to Midwall, so I'll I'll just give them my ten and I'll be like, yeah, Brodies, you know you like you don't gotta rob people, you know like. Why don't you try working? You make way more money. The Kenku does some more sign language and um. Uh, and the larger kobold looks at you and says, we tried. We went to the city, and then this happened. Uh, the Kenku then begins to speak in a very authoritative voice. What are you for doing it? Get out of here, you bunch of monsters! Get the fuck out of here! Oh. Uh, yeah, that's like not cool. Um, you know, like, what if we just said that they were with us? You, that wouldn't be you, the worst thing in the world, but you'd bring us probably, to the city with the, with you. I don't I mean, know how yeah. the city guard and such will react. You know. We'll say that like, you guys are like cool, you know, and like he'll do the he'll do the hang loose thing again. Uh, the 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 second couple, the the middle of the three, uh, who hasn't said anything, tries to make the sign, but like they can't get their, um, <laughs> they can't get their fingers right. So like <laughs> at first it looks like he's doing like, like he's flipping you off and giving you a thumbs up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh best. wait, no, um. <laughs> And finally manages to get it, but like it's hard for him to maintain it. Yeah, there you go, Brody. You got it. Yeah, so like, just come with us. But like, you can't like rob people and hit them with big logs and stuff. That's totes not cool. Cause then like you're just proving those dicks at the gate right and like acting like monsters when like your totes not. Uh, the smallest one looks at you. is like, this was more of a last resort. We tried hunting some uh, some animals, but. Uh... We, uh, they're not really fond of being near us. Uh, kind of gestures to the three kobolds. Uh, they, they're spooked by us, and, um, we're the best hunters of the, of the four of us. Uh, boss here, uh, he's more of the brains. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, if we bring you into the city, you four should be on your best behavior and we'll see if we could scratch up some money and uh get you guys some nice meals and maybe some food to take back to where you live uh, we yeah. kind of live in the forest by ourselves we don't really have a place to stay well regardless um you seem like oh. good folk besides the log trap which i'm willing to forgive this time but if i get hit with a log trap in the future and i see you four i will be very displeased but, um, you don't seem like you're that harmful, so, uh, I guess we'll t I'll take this risk and see what we could do to help you for. They, uh, the, um, Kenku opens its mouth to say in a, um, in, like, a, a kind old woman's voice. It's like, oh, aren't you sweet? I thank you. Uh, and um, the kobolds uh, then introduce themselves. Uh, the tall one is uh, Tally. Uh, and the middle one is Mally. <laughs> I hope they're being written down somewhere. Yeah, I'm definitely writing them down. Okay, very good. These may or may not have been like an impromptu thing. Uh very good. I more expected you to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I was thinking it, but they seem genuinely harmless. 
Uh, they probably would have also fucked you up due to action economy. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of us. Cole and Juan are useless. Um, uh, they get one attack a turn. You realize that they're actually back in the bushes a bit hiding, <laughs> cowering. Although now that things seem to have calmed down, they're slowly approaching. And the the smallest one is... Um, um, Billy. <laughs> Bally. B Bally. 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 All right. Uh, the Kenku is um, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap. Why does that sound familiar? No. That's a different one. Uh, I'll look at the four and I'll go, all right, I'll try my best to remember your guys' names, but... Let's see what we can do for the U4. And we'll make continue our way to Midwall. And it's like, try to follow us off the main road, okay? In case people see you. We, the last thing we want is U4 getting hurt. Well, I mean, like, they could just walk with us. They'll be fine. Yeah, we, we, hmm. we'll give you our weapons. We won't, um, we'll be unarmed. The smallest, uh, smallest co cobalt, uh, valley says. <clears throat> Well, if you're willing to do such a thing, then I'll take you up on that offer, and I'll just hold out my hand for all their weapons. Um, yeah, they uh, hand you three spears and a dagger from the Kenku. All right, I'll give those two coal to carry. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that one's sharp. Ow. Yes, okay, they're yep, sharp. Thank you. Yeah, they, they strap it up to, like, their, um, it's almost like a Sherpa pack, sort of. <laughs> Bro, hamskis. So, like, here's what we gotta do, dudes. If you wanna try and get work, we'll try and get you through the gate, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then we can go to the uh, adventurer place where uh, Reggie and I met up and sign you guys up as, like, an adventuring party because they totes need workers. That's what they said. And, um, you know, you gotta have, like, a cool adventure party name, like, uh, your name's like cheap, cheap, right? So like maybe the cheapers, or cheap, cheap, and the bulbs. Cheap, cheapers, cheap, cheap creepers. And, yeah, or, or or like cheapers creeper. Nah, that's <laughs> cheapers peepers. Where'd you get those? <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, or like something like if if you could think of a good name, you know, like it's got to be organic. But it'll it'll definitely add to it, you know. And then they'll be like, "Wow, like you guys look really capable." And then you'll be able to get yourself a job with like money. And then people won't be as much of assholes. They'll be like, "Hey, you guys are cool." So like, one uh, pipes up is like, "How about three kobolds and a kenku?" Walk into a bar, yeah, that's like the start of a joke, bro. But yeah, th that could work too. <laughs> the uh, kenku tilts his head, uh, cheap cheap. Uh, tilts his head and goes, three kobolds and a kenku. <laughs> and nods his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It looks like once we get you guys settled with some food, you'll have some work. I'm sure they won't mind if you're all decent folk, which you seem to be. You're just, you know, on the lows right now. I could appreciate... Not appreciate. I can... Sympathize? I can sympathize. Thank you, Kai. You know, it's not job. uncommon to see kobolds, kenku, um, and other monstrous races in the cities. Yes. Although sometimes they do experience some issues at the gates. Yes, uh, racism. If there's Got a it. particular guard around that particularly has some issues with them. Well, he could fuck off. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, until. Our time of departure comes. You're part of our little squadron. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. All right. So I'll lead the way. All right. So mm -hmm. you uh, go back the way you came, uh, though they're, uh, they carefully point out the uh, other pitfall traps that you managed to miss um, <laughs> so you don't actually fall in. Yes, that would be very unfortunate if we kept falling into your traps. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you get back out to the main road and head back uh, north.
to get back to Midwall. About another two hours in. Um, well, you were two hours in already, so you got another two hours left in your journey. Which goes by relatively uneventfully, and you reach the gate of Midwall. Yeah, just some small talk. All right, uh, I'll ask one of the kobolds what this guard looks like, so we know what to look out for. Um, he's that one. He points at like okay. his really sort of overweight guard. Um, oh god! Like partly overweight, but also super muscular. <laughs> Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> so almost like a fat bodybuilder in a way. Oh my god, the scariest type. Uh. Can't really see what he looks like, but you can see his armor uh, and how bulging he is. Like, uh, oh you God. think he's wearing plate, but like his flesh is kind of like bulging out of the seams of it in some places, particularly in the gut area. Uh, and uh, he turns his head, and you can see that it is a orc. Mm. That explains it then. At least the size. Orc racism. I will, uh... I'll just try to walk through the gate with the four of them. And Kai, obviously, and Cole, and Juan. Are you accepting responsibility for these four? You look yes, crazy. yes, they'll be on their best behavior. Alright, because if they aren't, they're going out into the wastes. And he kind of gestures behind him. And he, you you get that he's talking about the, uh, the wasteland. Yeah. Yeah, I, I figured. I'll go. Understood, sir. I'll make sure that these four are on their best behavior. Yeah, totes, Quimby. We got them. Uh, the Kenku looks at the guard and repeats in your voice, best behavior. <laughs> there you Which go. is a bit unsettling. <laughs> you know Kenku can do that, but it's always unnerving to hear someone else say something in your voice. Well then, uh... So I guess that's what I sound like to all of you. Anyway, uh, right toe, on upward and onward and such. Let's make our way over to a store and see if we can get you guys some grub. Uh, you do know that the Adventuring Guild uh, actually does provide food. Never mind, we're going straight to the Adventure Guild. <laughs> oh, yeah. It provides like room and board too. So. Oh, perfect. So as you travel through Midwall, um, you can see the sun now as it's starting to, it's very much high in the sky and the wall isn't really obscuring your vision of it anymore as you're kind of in the middle of a collapsed section. Uh, you are passing by lots of people and uh, some people are giving you like some odd looks or like some hesitant looks because, you know, they see the kobolds and they're a bit wary, but uh, most seem to be paying you no mind. Um, you uh, turn down one street, then another. You hit up the main alley, and uh, finally you arrive at probably the third tallest building in Midwall, which is the Adventuring Guild. All right. So, well, then, we can get you guys some food, sign you all up. Maybe we'll even cover a room for tonight so we all have a place to sleep. But, um... We'll see where the day takes us, and I'll go inside. They follow you in, and uh, what is this name of his name? Uh, Peter. Yeah, Peter uh, is currently looking down at his desk, writing some notes. Hello, Peter. How do you do? Saw, dude. Oh, oh, you're 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 back. You you made it. Okay. Uh, well, you didn't come back after the. Uh, uh, at the end of yesterday, we were a bit worried, but uh, we have a policy of waiting at least um, five days for a uh, a mission. Yes, of that we uh, we decided to camp out for the night there, and lucky we did because we met four up and coming adventurers who want to make their name in the world. As I point to the kobolds in Kenku, uh, Cheap Cheap looks at Peter and says, uh, three kobolds in a." That's not, uh, that's not one's name. Three kobolds and a kenku. <laughs> Peter just kind of, like, tilts his head and is like, Okay, that's a new one. Uh, he gets out 
uh, he brings out some folders, he rifles through them and grabs uh, four sheets of paper and hands it to them and gestures uh, towards uh, the turtle Rose off in the back. Uh, and um, they, uh, they uh, thank you and they head off to, the, to go talk to we Rose. Will, when you guys are done, we'll have some food waiting for you. And uh, the uh, the Kenku waves, uh, Chief Heat waves, and um, uh, Talon says thank you, and uh, they continue onwards to the Rose. All right, Kai. Uh, interesting day to say the least. I wonder if uh, Amy and Visky are doing fine. I'm sure they are, but at the moment we have this little group of new friends we have to attend to since I'm responsible for them now. But oh, uh, uh, let's get the get Peter some food. Looks at you. Was uh, did that orc guard give you issues at the gate? No, no. He was just, uh, are you responsible for these four? And I said, yes, I am. And they said, okay, if they cause any trouble, they're going to get thrown into the waste. So oh, that's, uh, uh, that's, um, that's Boruch. He, uh, he's been like that ever since his, uh, family was killed in a rock slide caused by some kobolds. Fair enough. But uh, regardless, they seem like good folk who are just down on their luck. Uh, we'll give them some forms. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's how you spell it. I just made that <laughs> up on the spot. Um, uh, uh, we'll give them uh, some papers that will make sure that they're not bothered by uh, anyone when they're entering and leaving the city. We usually do the same thing for others of non-standard, God, excuse me, um, uh, non, uh, non, non, none of the more common uh, races. Well, um, I'm sure they'll probably get their fair share of ups and downs, but if they do, if they do good and we put them on the right track. They'll, uh, I'm sure they'll be successful and never have to worry about going hungry for days at a time again. All right. Uh, I mean, they're very good with traps. Yeah, I think we uh, actually have some quests that might be good for them. Uh, there you go. Rifles through his thing, and it's like, oh yeah, this will do. Uh, I mean, there is some bandits to the southwest of the Dragon Mountains by uh, the Big Stone Bridge. Uh, that doesn't have a name because I didn't think of giving it a name, but like this, this one. <laughs> well, its name is Big Stone Bridge. Yeah, Big uh, Big Stone Bridge. Um, it's because the bridge is made entirely from just a one big stone they carved out. You know what? That sounds well, like... metal as fuck. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. The World building. Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Lore and, and building. This this little stream that clearly like comes down from the melted caps of the rusting dragon mountains is. Is, is very much called Wormling Stream. <laughs> Good one. It, uh, it does have... Some of the farmers in the area do have another name for it. It's called uh, the Dragon's Piss Stream. <laughs> the Dragon's Piss Stream! Yeah, I, th I thought you were going to say something clever, like uh, the Resting Dragon's Tear River. No, because it's coming from the, the rear end of the dragon. <laughs> Ah. The head is up near Arboros. Oh, that's a very violent, violent poop. It's just liquid. No, piss. It's pee. This, that one's pee. The little string over here is, is the poop pee. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the farmers also call that one the, the, the run stream. The runs! The resting dragon runs. Yep, that's, that's what they call it. <laughs> the the runs. resting dragon rapids. <laughs> It's actually very, uh, very rapidy. Uh, some tourists actually come out to try some their hands at the rapids, which um, not dead. <laughs> Love you. The farmers are like, "Why are you doing that in the diarrhea river? <laughs> Why are you doing it in the diarrhea river? <laughs> not the diarrhea river. Uh, it's actually full of a lot of silt, so it, it does kind of look a bit brown. There we go. Very muddy. But um. I will uh, make my way over to a place where I could order food, and I will order six bowls of just a stew. If there's a stew. Uh, 
Actually, since uh, I didn't really describe it too well uh, last time, I'll describe the how the uh, building looks. So as you enter the uh, front door, you can look up and you see this big open area, kind of like um, like if you've ever been to like a large hotel lobby where like you can see the ceiling up above you. Yes. Uh, what are you drawing? <laughs> I was gonna draw the room. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> And you can see parts of, like, the other floors, um, which uh, the second and third floor is uh, all the rooms for the different adventurers. Um, on the main floor, uh, it actually um, spans uh, quite a ways outwards in all directions. Uh, forward, of course, is, like, where all the uh, offices and such are. Uh, Peter's desk is kind of right at the front and off to the side is like a few bank teller windows, most of which are closed. Uh, the only one that seems to be ever open in the two times that you've been here, uh, Kai, and the week that you've been here, uh, Reg, I, I can't keep up. <laughs> is, uh, <Good. laughs> is uh, Rose's, uh, Rose's window. Uh, uh, off to the left is to where the cafeteria uh, and oh, wow. um, some... Uh, uh, like showers, the latrine, basically. Uh, okay. And to the right is uh, different facilities where you can acquire adventuring gear, um, get your gear repaired if need be, uh, and um, a uh, sort of like a travel agent, like someone who can like help you book passage to other places in Haldrum, uh, but mainly for adventurers, not tourists. All right, well, we'll, I'll make my way to the uh, left end of the uh, building. It's a fairly large cafeteria. Uh, there's um, several adventuring parties already here. Um, I will uh, I'll order the six bowls of stew and or soup, whatever it is. Uh, it's and, uh, uh, will... half stew, half soup. Okay, stoop. it's a stoop. It's, it's stoop, <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'll get the stoop, I'll put in the order, and I'll wait for it. And I'll have Cole and Juan help me out with it, and I'll tell Kai to wait for them and guide them here once they're all done. Stoop or Sue? <laughs> oh. The, the uh, Cole looks at you and is like, you're only getting six? Fine. You know, you two have a lot more money than me. Well, no, I thought, like, because we're with you, we'd also get, like, complimentary food. And uh, the the uh, lunch lady, she looks at you and like, yeah, any guests with you are automatically eligible for the food. Well, all right. So instead of six, let's like, get to eight. <laughs> How much will that run me? Uh, it's complimentary, like I said. <laughs> oh. I Actually, misheard. Like what Thank he you. said, I didn't say it. My bad. I uh, misheard. Yeah, it's, All right, uh, so yeah, the uh, there's actually like this little pamphlet stand at the front. It says like all the different amenities you get, and he hands you a, a little booklet that uh, you can oh. read at your own purview, which I probably should write out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, you have you have time. I'm only gonna read it while I'm eating. Yeah, uh, I can I can rattle off what it says. It says like uh, what you're entitled for, uh, in in ways of like. Um, accidental death uh they can provide some funding to your next of kin if need be uh although that requires a down payment of five gold uh there is a uh there's the cafeteria service which it mentions the free room and board um and it also lists off the different um uh, facilities off in the right wing of the building where like the, the smith the uh, cobbler and all the different uh, facilities and it also mentions an underground pool that is oh. available for um, second year uh, not not first year but second year adventurers okay so we can't use that yet got it but huh. uh all right it's a, it, they, it was available for first year uh, adventurers but after so many people signed up just to get the free pool access um, they yeah. had to bump it up to two years, and you have that's, to have a minimum entirely... of five quests done before you can actually access it. That is entirely fair. I get that. 
Actually, I'm thinking but, um, like, I might build this building in The Sims just to like kind of get a good look. Yep, it. that'd be cool. Uh, but uh, I will. Um... So what's the deal? Is this is the soup given to us, or is, do we? Does it get brought to us? No, it, it's it's very much like a school cafeteria. All right, so you, you grab it yourself and then bring it over. Yeah. Uh, Juan and right, Cole so... say, "Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll carry it to the table. You just go find something." All right, so I'll go to like a table that's pretty clear, but with enough room for Kai and the rest of them. Uh, yeah, you uh, you sit down and um, around you there's actually um, you notice there's one of the not the most famous adventuring group, but uh, right now they seem to be in town. Uh, the um, the uh, the battle hoggers. Yo. <laughs> Uh, Interesting. The, the battle huggers. Um, you can overhear them with your passive perception, and your uh, uh, observant. You can see them talking about the last mission they were on. How they uh, had to uh, shit. What's the area called? Um, I can also read their lips if I can't hear them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. Uh, you where they were in Oxgalith Sands, uh, which is uh, the big desert in uh, the Empire of Oxgalith. Which is not far from where you grew up. It's um, about four days travel. Uh, but, All right. Um, it uh, they're talking about how they had to deal with like some kind of mummy lord or something. Mm-hmm. Seems like they had fun. Good for them. And I'll, uh... I'll just one day, bro. Oh, are you here with all of them? Huh? Oh yeah. I mean, like. I just I was just being quiet, but yeah, he would have went with you because I mean, like they went to go sign up. He doesn't have anything else to do but wait for them to come back and he eat food with you. All right, so I was I thought I, I, it's okay. It's good. With the how close you are, I'd say Kai was able to kind of hear. He probably heard Oxgalith, Mummy Lord, but beyond that, he didn't really hear too much details. Reggie, you hear every excruciating detail, uh, oh, like God. how one of the members had is horrible sand rash in a place that he should not have ever had sand oh, rash. No. Oh. That's a bit vulgar. Yeah, Kai, Kai didn't help bring the soup over, though. <laughs> Monster. I know. Yeah, Colin Juan got it covered, though. Uh, as uh, the uh, cheap, cheap uh, fuck. Cheap, cheap, mally, mally uh, Cheap, cheap, tally, tally, mally, and bally, uh, arrive and uh they sit down and um they kind of show you their uh their their character sheets <laughs> i guess um their stats are also not filled in yet like yours because you have to do like a test um, yeah but uh they're they're they're, they're on their they're going their way yeah uh and um it's at the top of their sheet it says uh three kobolds and a kenku as their party name very good. And uh, then they show you the uh, quest that they were given by Peter, which is the one that he mentioned uh, at the Great Stone Bridge. All right. Well, there you go. You got yourselves a job. We got you guys some food. And the food here is free, so eat as much as you need. And I'd say that Cole and Juan arrive with somehow balancing, like, all eight trays between them. Like Juan was, Juan was a chef slash waiter in my family's house. Uh, you're not really impressed by Juan because, like, you know, you know he can do this, but Cole, shit, man. What can I say? He's built like a Chad. Um, I mean, you know that, like, uh, he, he kind of, how to put this? He sort of had a crush on your older sister, the one who was sick and got better like she was not eh, sort of like she kind of strung him along in some ways like sort of taking advantage of him Um, i'll be right back i'm getting a phone call i'm so sorry all right um i also said that in a poor way not taking advantage of but like like manipulating him in some ways so like i'll repeat that when anthony comes back oh shit he actually messaged me Lobster lore. Oh, <laughs> that was an hour ago. 
I love lobster lore. It's my favorite kind of lore. Honestly, a lot of these little details are just like improvised bits. And I love that you suggested that you bring um, cheap, cheap inhalers to uh, the adventuring guild because I was I was hoping that you'd do that. Yeah, you gotta get them a job, man. Yeah. So now they might be some party that you might encounter out in the wilderness someday. Oh, it's it's called the shaka, by the way. I looked it up. The hang loose thing is called the shaka. Yeah, shaka, so, bro. Shaka. Yeah, bro. You know, I gotta like work in more of the surfing terms. You know, like the other day, I was like paddling out there, right, to get to those juicy waves, and I was getting raked over like hella sick, bro. And then, you know, like, I was just waiting for it, right? I was waiting for the shape, bruh. Like, you gotta wait for it to show up. And then, then, I got in there, and I was, like, in the tube, bruh, and I was riding it. But, uh, I couldn't handle myself. I got spat out, you know? It was almost a total wipeout, bruh, but in the end, you know, got my act back together, paddled back out there. Shredded some killer waves, bro. Uh, you're I actually super telling stoked. this to uh, Cheap Cheap in the Italian Hour in the Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like super stoked. Bro. They're enthralled with it. <laughs> uh, as you're telling it, you vaguely recall an incident where you were surfing on an island. Um, not on an island, but like on an uh, you were on an island, kind of towards more of the extremes of uh, the continent, so like pretty far away from everything, uh, and you were surfing out there, and you noticed there was something in the water, uh, watching you, uh, although um, you weren't entirely sure. It wasn't really any sea creature that you've seen before. You couldn't really get a good look at it, and. Uh, the dolphins, some dolphins showed up and like helped guide you away from it. Word. That would have been uh, in the Sunbell Ocean to the far west of Menhestia. Oh. South of Catilla. Okay. Actually, can I? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like if you guys, if you like, if you brodies ever go surfing, you gotta remember, watch out for those men in gray suits, bro. Like they'll come for you. You start seeing that fin going, and it's not hopping up out the water, and like messing around with you and going, eh, 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 eh. yeah, man, that's a shark. You don't want to mess with those, Bresky. You've had some conversations biting. with some sharks. Some sharks are fairly amicable. But then there's those bloodthirsty ones. There's actually one group of sharks that you had a great time with. Uh, they seem to be in a self-help group uh, where they uh, were all about fish being friends and not food. Yeah, there was this one guy, Bruce, and, you know, he, he was a real OG, like, let me tell you. Like, he was old school, bro. You know, like, if you're ever on the beach, right, and, like, you see these guys, they're, like, walking around, you know, trying to act like they're surfers, and, like, they're not. We call those people Quimbies. They're, like, super annoying, bro. Uh, cheap Cheap repeats back to you what you said. Quimbies, they're super annoying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the feeling that uh, he might be, that might be his favorite insult now, Quimby. <laughs> Quimby, yeah. <laughs> and then remember, bro, like this hair, and I'll like show him the thing again, and I'll be like, this hair is called a shaka, bro. Like, if you do this, you know, not everybody gets it. You know, like you got to be around more like 
beach faring people, you know, like real surfers. But this here is a sign of peace and love, bro. You know? He cheap cheap kind of raises his wing. Like uh, Kenku can't fly, but they still do have those wings as their arms. Right. And you can tell that um that yes, he could grasp things, but like his hand is not like yours. He can't make the sign. Ah. Uh, well like you can do it cheap cheap. But like that's alright, bro, because like if if these guys do it, you know, these dudes here, then like you're good, you know? So And if, if someone, you know, pops it back up, sick, dude, you know, like, they're a friend. They're good peeps. I've never met a bad surfer, you know. Like, I mean, I've met people that are bad at surfing, but I've never met a surfer that's a bad dude, dude. God damn it, I have to pee. <laughs> I'll be right back. Right. Hopefully I'm back when he gets back. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Intermission time. I'm back, sorry about that. Alright, oh. I'm back. Oh, you're back too. I guess we had a break. Oh, okay. We're doing a little break. No, I guess we're having a break because I came back. Beck's muted. There's music playing. What music's playing? The elevator music? Intermission music? <laughs> From Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, I had to pee real quick. She's doing her, the other six hours of her stream now at eight o'clock. Oof. So. 
Oh, um, so, I don't know if I told you, we got, like, one of those, um, you know, like, the thicker plastic bags, like, reusable. Mm-hmm. This blue one, and it's it's been sitting out in the foyer. We keep it like with the other fabric ones when we go shopping now, and uh, it is Hex's new favorite toy because of the linoleum floor. She just runs it at high speed and like pounces on it, and then it takes her halfway across the floor, and she just keeps doing that again and again and again. She got mad at me when she thought I was going to take it earlier. It was actually funny. Cats are so goofy. I was playing with Nero earlier when he was in my room before he knocked over everything, and I was just doing this thing where I was putting my arm in between his body as he was laying on his back, and he was just hugging me. And I just kept doing that over and over and over again. Oh, goodbye. Intermission. Hello. Hi. I moved you guys, but I didn't move myself. I was still on intermission. <laughs> oh, let me take a swig of my water bottle. All right. So, as I was saying, Reggie, uh, you know, uh, Cole sort of had a thing for your uh, your sister who had the... Yes. It's funny because I figured one of them would have. I just wasn't sure which one you were going to pick. Yeah. Uh, he um, sort of was... Um, like, before uh, she was sick, um, he definitely... Like, there was, like, some... Almost, like, a kind of a mutual thing kind of happening. Uh, but yep. after she got sick and then when she was better, uh, once he was better, things kind of became more one-sided. Where he was more um, giving her gifts and um, she was accepting him, but um, not really reciprocating. More kind of using him for the benefit of the things like he was giving her and such. Okay. Well, uh, Cole's untitled to do whatever he wants. <laughs> and uh, quite frankly, uh, Reggie doesn't give two shits about his family right now because all of them agreed that he should just be kicked out. So, uh, whatever. What matters right now is that I got Cole. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll just leave it at that. Reggie secretly loved Cole. <laughs> yeah, Reggie Cole bromance in the making. What can I say? I never, I never specified his sexual orientation. <laughs> you have noticed since then, though, uh, that every so often Cole just kind of closes his eyes for like a few minutes and just. It's almost like he's thinking to himself, but you're not entirely sure what. I won't intrude. It's not my business. How's everyone enjoying their stoop? Uh, the, uh, the the kobold gang nods their heads. They're like, oh, it's really good. Best shit we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> Juan is like drinking it from the bowl. <laughs> Solid chunks included. I mean, hey, in all honesty, that's the best way to do it. Um, Cole seems to be having... He seems to be ending one of his moments where he's kind of staring off into space uh, and has gone back to just eating it with his spoon, although looks like he didn't touch it for a bit, so now there's a little bit of a skin on it, but he doesn't seem to mind that. <clears throat> oh, my I'm God! Sure. <clears throat> Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You're right. Yeah, like um, like a crumb from a cookie got in my windpipe. Oh, hate that. I hate it when that happens. That's why I like when I'm like eating, eating, especially like if it's dry. I always have to have beverage with me. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. water. 
Yeah, it was like stuck in my saliva, and it just somehow like I was swallowing it, and it didn't that bit of it didn't make it down. I feel that that happens to me more often than I would like. But uh, you all continue to eat, and uh, eventually you do finish, and the uh, three kobolds and a kenku. Uh, thank you again for helping them, and um, they head off to the right wing of the building to get fitted out for their adventure. Um, as they're heading off, um, Talon has, stops at his tracks, turns around, and go, comes back to you. He's like, can we have our weapons back? Uh, yes, Cole, uh, give him back the weapons. They, they were going to need those. Oh, shit. Like, you see, like, he's kind of, like, slurping up the skin of the soup as you're doing this. Uh, is just kind of like, oh, fuck. Uh, grabs everything and hands it to Talon, and then Talon thanks him and runs off. Alright, well, there there we go. We just made some allies. Yeah, Brady. I love friends, you know? Yeah. But, um, I guess now we should go turn in our quest and see what else is out there for us at the moment. Right, so you... Uh, do you, like, leave everything at the table, or do you put everything on the trays and, like, move them off to the side to where, like... Oh, we move them off to the side. Okay. So, like, you know, easier cleanup. We're not assholes. Yeah. You, you set them it, on, it's like, like the, a It's like the cart. shopping cart theory. Yeah, you, you put them on the, the cart that uh, <laughs> seems to be used to hold all the dirty dishes and such. Uh, and you make your way over to Peter uh, to ask him where you hand in the quest. And uh, he directs you uh, to the right wing of the building. Uh, there's a little booth that says um, quest turn-in area. <laughs> uh, quest quest turn-ins and questions. Uh, all right, I'll approach and I'll just go, hello, uh, my name is uh, Reggie. I'm here with a one Kai Reefborn. Uh, we do have two other party members, but they're currently not with us at the moment. Uh, we were just here. We are here to turn in the quest we completed the other day, aka yesterday, the one at the uh, dig site. You know someone's in the booth, but you, because because you're doing this without really looking into it, you're just kind of more like looking at your sheet of paper that has the quest on it, and you look up. And you don't see anyone, but you sense a presence there. And There's, you, like, kind of... They're definitely short. You look around, you look down, and then finally you look up. And hanging from the rafters is a little owl. <laughs> oh, perfect. And uh, Oh, hello up there. Oh. Sorry, I, uh, I thought I had more time on my break. Uh, he kind of flutters down. And, oh no no no! Please, if um if we're intruding, just finish your break. Uh, we're just here to turn the no, question. No 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 no! I I went over. I I definitely went over. He uh kind of takes out a little um orb of time and looks at it. Like oh fuck! I definitely went over. <laughs> like a full three hours. Uh... <laughs> I wish I could do that at work. Jeez. <laughs> it's a Hell, slow. It I... was a slow day today. Um. I got shit one time for taking an hour and a one minute break. But not when I took an hour break. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here to turn in our quest. Right, uh, let me see it. He, he hand over the thing, and uh, he kind of flips through it, and um, then he uh, checks his other thing, grabs another sheet of paper, which seems to be a bit more recent because it's in a uh, inbox. Grabs it. He right, actually uh, rifles through the inbox a bit and grabs a a sheet of paper and uh, you look at it Reggie because you notice uh, it seems to be a uh, sign off on the job from the foreman at the dig site uh, how it got here you're not entirely sure but it's here um, we probably sent it last night while we were enjoying the rest of the evening and sleeping uh, and say alright um, there's only two of you uh, you said the other party members left if I recall, the... he goes to another box 
And he rifles through that. He pulls out a sheet of paper. It's like, oh, yeah, they uh, uh, they already came and uh, got their... Mm, no, they're not coming. They're, uh, they're asking for... They sent a letter asking for their money to be sent to Arboros. We have a little branch there. That will be done. Uh, your money, however, he kind of rifles through all his things and grabs two bags of coins. Uh, you hear them, Reggie, uh, as in your line of work, you can tell it's a lot of money that you hear jingling around. And he plunks oh. the two sacks on the table and kind of slides them towards both you and Kai. Uh, 100 gold each. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, all, if, you, uh, want, sack. if you want more, uh, another quest, you can head over to uh, Peter. He points at the, the desk. I, I'm more the uh, the one who handles the uh, actual. No, no, you're you're okay. No worries. Um, but thank you for guiding us and for everything. Uh, I won't tell anyone about your break. Don't worry. Oh, I, if... I'm sure everyone knew. <laughs> well, it's kind of a thing that old, uh, uh, old hootie will uh, doze off in the ceiling every so often. You were obsessed with Owlin. <laughs> I love Owlin. It's fine, though. They're so adorable. adorable. I love them. Praying Walter Lynn. He's very much Owlin like a little uh, little sphere, <laughs> almost, with Owlin. Perfect. Legs. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping for that Walter Owlin to happen. But, uh, I'll yeah, I would simply mind thank if you him again. The, the dice a bit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I can't wait for Goblin Walter. I can't wait for Goliath Walter. Oh god. And he's I taller than Ed? I can't wait. No, you're gonna be the same height. <laughs> same height as Walter! <laughs> you're the same Walter height, except now you look like a Goliath. You're just bald. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get gobbled. I can't wait for you to get dragonborn. I can't wait for you to get... <laughs> Fairy, little fairy Walter. It's gonna look like the Punch Father. I'm the Punch Father. <laughs> There's also the Danny DeVito race too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. That's like many sessions away at this rate, so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you're done with uh, Hootie. Uh, you, you, now that you you heard him talk a bit, you know he's a middle-aged owl, and um, but uh, he definitely has a uh, an inc inclination to taking very long naps. Okay, he might be a uh, night owl. <laughs> <sighs> of course, he is. Uh, I will simply. Make my way over back to the quest giving qu uh, desk mm -hmm. and ask for a new job within the immediate vicinity of the city. Oh, you don't or wanna, like, yeah, you don't want to go nearby. Travel. Okay. Uh, well, today, uh, he rifles through all his little papers and things. He's like, uh, hmm. Well, today there is that. That one quest to seek out a potential kidnapper. Uh, apparently a few people have gone missing recently, and the City Watch has asked for some adventurers to help with that. Now that's mighty unfortunate. Uh, let's see what we can do, Kai. Kai! Oh, what did? Sorry, I was like zoning out. No matter. Um, we're gonna take on this job to assist um the guards and missing people. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> the job pays. Uh, you look at the sheet, and it looks like it pays um fifty gold if you can at least find a lead and there are some bonuses tacked on if you can uh actually capture or uh, capture the guy and uh locate the locate or free the individuals 
All right. Um. Let's go and do that then. Oh, dude, I'm like hella good at police work, Brody. I mean, I have quite the uh, watchful eyes as well, so this should be relatively easy in theory. One time, a crab stole a minnow from an urchin, and like I figured out which crab it was and brought him to justice. How did you bring a crab to justice? Uh, you know, the undersea court. Um, it's a court of his peers that like judge him for like you know breaking cardinal laws of the ocean, and like the number one <laughs> cardinal law of the ocean: don't steal another bro's food. Uh, I'm gonna look at you. You're so puzzled, suspicious, Reggie. However, Kai is being a hundred percent serious. Um, I feel like the more you tell me about your ocean travels, the more interesting they become, and the more I b begin to realize that, quite frankly, we do not know much of our, about our oceans at all. And for all we know, there could be an underwater society of some kind plotting to take over the world, and all these other things that... I mean, like, I think I'm you're calm. going a little too far with it, Brady. I mean, I'm like, calm. the Eldritch Lobster King is, like, a worry, but... I don't know, like, you know, like, they're, they're pretty cool bros, and, like, a lot of the time it's survival of the fittest, but, like, if you're the little guys, you know, you can't, like, be stealing from each other, and that's something that they take super serial. Uh, you have heard, in the lobster business, Reggie, you have heard that there is some little societies in the Elder Sea of tritons and sea elves and other aquatic creatures um, that uh, follow uh, Garnell. Uh, but uh, you don't really uh, didn't really pay that too much mind because you heard Garnell and tuned out the rest. Well, interesting, interesting. I will. Um, I'll just go look at him and go. Well, it seems like we'll be able to handle this quest quite well. So let's go find the uh, the one who put it in and see what we can do. What is this blue thing right here? What are you hiding? Uh, that's, um... <laughs> you put a tree in the water by, by accident? Yes. <laughs> oh, don't be ashamed. It's okay. It happens. It's just a little island, that's all. Yeah, there you go. We don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents. I love Bob Ross. <laughs> that's the, the final boss, Bob Ross. No! He's oh, my dad. Uh... <laughs> You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my man. You're not my man. All right. Uh, so you, as you're heading out, Kai, not Kai, fuck, uh, Cole and Juan meet up with you. Uh, looks like they're done with their meal because they took a bit of time, uh, just kind of relaxing. Uh, and um, they ask you what you're doing. And do you tell them? Oh yeah, I'll tell them. Uh, we have a uh, a quest, a new quest already. Um, people are disappearing within the city. We're gonna go speak to the one who put in the request and figure out what's going on here. Well, I think I heard something about that. Cole says uh, something about like um, uh, a lot of uh, mainly individuals who are not necessarily in the highest standards of society kind of more looked down upon the ones who provide um, entertainment to the lonely hmm. well that definitely helps somewhat um, I think what would be best to do right now is just simply go talk to the guard in question and Figure it all out from there. Uh, on the sheet, it says uh, if you need any specific uh, questions answered, go to the uh, uh, City Watch uh, headquarters and um, ask for um, uh, um, oh fuck a name <laughs> oh god um, Carl Carl. All right, uh, I will make my way to the City Watch. It's not too far from uh, the Adventuring Guild. Uh, the four of you enter the building, and um, 
it up to the uh, desk and ask to see uh, Chief Carl and um, your uh, you show the uh, quest and uh, they motion for you to head to a sort of meeting room where uh, you can meet with Carl. All right, so uh, once we're all seated, I'll go. So Carl, uh, I am Reggie. I me and my friend Kai and my two friends behind me, uh, Cole and Juan, uh, we have received your request in the in regards to missing people throughout the city, and I was wondering if you could give us some insight in certain locations and other things, and maybe we'll assist you in, greatly in this investigation. Well, you see, there's, um, there's sort of an issue we got going on here. A lot of prostitutes have gone missing uh, throughout the uh, various districts in the city, uh, mainly late at night towards the twilight hours uh, of 3 a.m., uh, both men and women have gone missing, uh, as, uh, just that's kind of the way our society is, uh, there isn't really any discrimination there, it's, um, unfortunate that, uh, this is happening, clearly someone does not particularly like, uh, those who offer their, uh, selves for a service. Uh, the last, um, we haven't really found any, uh, specific leads uh, other than uh, a uh, general idea of those he targets. Uh, the last person to be taken was uh, in the uh, southeastern part of the uh, city, towards uh, more towards the outskirts and the, uh, the west side of the city. So if uh, specifically on a, he uh, points on the map of the city to like a specific intersection. Uh, so if you want to go there to look for clues, you can head on over there. If uh, you need any help, you can always come back or ask a city watch guy for uh, for assistance. If you uh, need any, <laughs> well, if you need a a, a a handkerchief or something, I also got one. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brody. Um, yes, um, we'll we'll get to it. But. Uh, if you find a lead on the guy, that's 50 gold each. If you find, uh, if you actually manage to catch the guy, uh, of course, the reward will be much higher. Uh, we prefer if he's caught alive. Noted. Uh, do not kill him. Uh, you might actually be fined for that because uh, you don't have a permit. You don't have a permit to kill. Are you telling me those are things that exist? Uh, it's a certain level of vigilante part of the adventuring guild that you can get uh, it's only reserved for the higher level members. Of course if it's an accidental murder then it's fine uh, we can, we'll have to do lots of paperwork, you'll be questioned and such but since you're doing it for the good of the city then we'll, we'll probably look the other way Alright well um, thank you for providing us with this information we'll head over right now and see what we can do um I have a very good eye. My friend Kai here has uh, legal skills. And uh, these two, as I pointed to behind me, they know the areas quite well. So I'm sure we'll uh, figure things out quicker than you were anticipating, one would hope. I, uh, I very much look forward to it. Thanks for your assistance. And uh, he kind of, course. of gestures towards the door. You can make yourselves uh, take take your leave all right thank you kindly and uh that's what we'll do you make your way out of the headquarters i almost said police station it's very much it, it's essentially a police station but it's the city where... yes but technically no <laughs> well yes but actually no um the uh you make your way to the part of the city where uh the last uh person was taken from and uh, you reach the uh, intersection where it happened and uh, can start looking around. Maybe ask people if they saw anything or something. Whatever. It's up to you. All right. Um, I will ask the shopkeep if they know anything. Uh, you approach a nearby uh, store and you enter. And uh, it seems they sell... Um, 
clothing. Uh, not any uh, clothing that would be befitting of a noble house, but more of the uh, stuff that you'd find um, some of the more poor individuals to wear, but um, a bit nicer. Like, uh, they seem to fix it up. Uh, so, like, any torn pants from farming and such. Uh, uh, who's running the shop? A, it looks like some uh, human woman uh, currently sewing a pair of uh, no, not what, what the fuck is it called? Um, it's wool, not wool pants. Uh, it's some material that looks very like it's thatch, but not really. Jute. Sure. Uh, yeah, jute. It, it's jute. some kind of like uh, old timey like wear. Or like that... burlap. Well, they didn't really wear burlap, but yeah, jute it's sort of like burlap. Yeah, old time stuff. Yeah, uh, she seems to be patching it uh, at the moment. Uh, good afternoon to you. Um, my name is Reddy, Reggie. I'm from the Adventurers Guild. Um, I was wondering if I could spare a few moments of your time and ask you a few questions in regards to a group of people who have been disappearing as of late. Oh, are you? Do you hear about the, the person that went missing last night? I wasn't aware this happened last night. Uh, do you have any information you're willing to share, if you know anything? Well, of course, the the shop was closed at the time. It, <coughs> uh, we don't really... We're not really open past uh, 8 p.m., but um, uh, I was um, upstairs um, uh, getting ready for bed. It was... Um, uh, and uh, I looked out the window, and I saw uh, a, uh, a man... Uh, at the corner, uh, trying to offer his services to um, some people, uh, and I didn't really pay that any mind, as that's not um, that's not really uncommon in this area. And uh, I went to bed, and um, I think a few hours later, I woke up to a loud um, crash, and um, I ran to the window um, to see uh, some. Uh, a little commotion happening outside near the alley and she kind of points a bit away from the intersection a bit down the street and you see um uh, an entrance into a uh, alley behind some buildings um and uh then uh the the man from earlier he seemed to have was uh, finally uh grabbed and dragged down the alley and i didn't I didn't know anything beyond that. I uh, alerted the watch, but they couldn't find anything. Um, you didn't see anyone. He... Yeah, it was dark. The um, the street lights aren't super bright. Um, they are just uh, wood burning torches. Uh, I think uh, actually uh, the ones in this area were um, had actually gone out recently because. Uh, um, well, they, they need to be refueled occasionally, and uh, the city hadn't got to this area yet. All right. Well, um, well, thank you for your information. Um, it's most graciously appreciated, and hopefully with what you've given me, we'll be able to find this perpetrator and bring them to the justice that they need to be given. Thank you. Um does worry me that um, there's someone kidnapping people running around the city, but at the same time, he's not really targeting my demographic, so I'm not super concerned, but it is it is a bit worrying. It's always worrisome when you're supposed to be given the illusion of safety and it is taken from you. Anywho. Um, you have a good rest of your day, and hopefully, in due time, we will find this individual and give them the justice they deserve. And I will uh, leave the store. Right, you uh, exit the store and meet back up with Kai, uh, Cole, and Juan. Uh, and uh, you can share your information that you got. I think we should uh, look around this area some, see if we can find any, like, traces of napping, see if we can find anything of any, um, 
any clues, I guess, is the best way to put it. All right, uh, you um, you make your way over to the alley that the woman told you about, uh, and um, yeah, uh, Kai, make a investigation check. Okay. Not Kai, Reggie. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to say, look at Kai. He's investigating. Seventeen. All right. There's actually been a fair bit of foot traffic through this area. Uh, not going into the alley, of course, but like walking past it on the sidewalk. Um, but you do find some scuff marks uh, on the pavement, and uh, it seems to go into the alley. All right. Um, interesting. I'll uh, follow them as far as they go. Right, you go into the alley a ways. Um, it, uh, it's kind of like your standard medieval alley. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, bin uh, barrels and uh, crates uh, out here. Uh, also seems to be a, kind of like a trough where uh, some parts of the uh, not wastewater, well, like wastewater, but not like sewage. Um, so stuff from like cooking and cleaning kind of uh, water is uh, flowing in a trough down the middle of the street before it uh, middle of the alley before it finally meets up with the main street and goes into the actual sewers all right uh, you think that maybe they took this just like kind of point at it All right, all right. Uh, as you move through the alley, you uh, eventually find that the, the scuff marks seem to kind of stop. Looks like uh, whoever uh, was grabbed seemed to stop struggling. Uh, either they were knocked unconscious or uh, they resigned themselves to their fate. All right, um, I'm going to... Burn a wild shape, and I'm going to morph into, which I looked up, I could do this, and this is hilarious. I'm going to turn into a swarm of rats, because they also have the keen smell thing, and he would have more likely seen rats over, like, say, a wolf, because he's been on a ship before. I would argue that you can't do a swarm, because you are an individual. <laughs> Yeah. I know raw you can. <laughs> Rules as written. But you are a single rat. <laughs> you are not a swarm of rats. Can, can I be like a chihuahua sized rat then? <laughs> um I mean you can you can wild shape into a giant rat. Wait, is that one of the things too? Hold yeah, on. it's one eighth. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, then I wanna be a giant rat. <laughs> I only saw a rat and then swarm of rats. <laughs> Fuck, what's that under? Let me look at that. Where's giant rat? Giant bat, giant centipede, giant crab, giant fly, giant frog, giant oh, <gasps> Giant rat! Oh my god! Oh, I still have the keen smell. All right, yeah, he turns into a giant rat. And, uh, and he's gonna, um... He's gonna he's gonna use that keen smell feature of his to <laughs> see if he can uh, like smell anything from the person that struggled like around the scuff marks like if uh, there's any blood or maybe urine because they peed themselves from getting kidnapped. All right, um, make a perception check uh, using your stats because that's the way wild shape works at advantage. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, good, I needed that. <laughs> you, uh, you're sniffing away, and um, you're smelling all different kinds of things. You're smelling cheese. You smell, um, uh, <laughs> you think you smell a dead mouse in the corner. It's like, oh, that might be tasty. It smells like lots of little things. Uh, and then finally you pick up a scent that uh, is different than everything else. And you pr you're pretty sure it might be related to the... Uh, at least either the individual who grabbed the person or the person themselves that was grabbed. Okay. All right. 
he's going to um in the direction that he thinks the smell is going initially like the initial like scent path he's going to literally do that thing that pointer dogs do where like they stiffen up and like bing right and then he's going to uh squeal like big one eek, eek, and then he's gonna head off in that direction just right. following the trail with your nose to the ground you're just kind of like following it along because it's very much not in the air anymore because uh just you know time has passed and uh there's not much uh, to follow but with your keen smell you can't detect it uh, eventually, as you're about halfway down the alley, you notice it takes like a sharp left uh, and approaches the wall and then goes, seems to go up. Hmm. He'll like, he'll like do that thing when like rats and mice get trapped in boxes that they just can't climb their way out of and start like trying to act as if he's climbing up the wall to give Reggie an indication that that's the direction the scent goes. Cole is like looking at this like, I will never be okay with this. <laughs> I'm... I, f I feel like I'm going to have to get used to it eventually. Well, little Kai, uh, what, what, did, what did you find? Eep, eep! And he'll just kind of like straighten up and look straight up. <laughs> I, I look up. <laughs> See what he's looking at. Uh, you look up and um, uh, make a perception check uh, at advantage because you're being pointed at. It's being pointed at. Yo, impromptu help action? Let's get a perception, you said? Yep. Okay. Wow. Literally the same thing Kai rolled. Interesting. Um... Both ways. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Uh, you're looking at the wall, kind of just thinking, just like, okay, what's what's with this wall? And you, excuse me, you finally notice that there's actually some handholds in the wall, or not handholds per se. It's more like almost like part of the wall has been gouged out in some places, like something dug its hands in as it climbed up. Hmm. Looks like we need to get on the roofs. Uh, Kai, if you understand what I'm saying, is there a way you could turn into, uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a bird or something that could climb walls or... He will turn away from the wall. There is like a nice patch of dirt where you could like scratch in words to write <laughs> to write um, which you're not very good at like of course your E's are backwards yes that's true so he'll just kind of look at you and like nod his little rat head as if to say yes he can he can change into something that can fly you cannot oh, change into something that can fly I said fly or climb fly or climb I think I could actually turn into a pterodon because it's on the list. You have but... not seen a pterodon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I... Oh wait, no. Well, I could turn into a hawk. If it was cannot turn into a hawk because it has Seagull. a fly speed. It has oh, a fly yeah. speed. All right, so a oh, spider. It specifies if it has a fly speed. Spider. I could turn into that, but does that still get the keen? Sp what's your What's your challenge rating limit? Uh quarter. Quarter. Okay, black bear is out. Uh. I'm like, I've got the whole list. What about a baby black bear? Technically, they'd be weaker, so lower CR. Mm. I'm trying to think of something that would be able to climb. There's uh, lizards, which are zero. But no. Yeah. Um... <laughs> it turns into an octopus, starts suction cupping to the wall. You can't do octopuses yet. You can just have a swim speed. As a swim speed. The only reason why you can do dolphins is because you struggled with it so much. That Background. You do it. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe if you can't turn into something right away, um, maybe we'll find a way upward. Maybe a ladder or rope. Um, I'm gonna have trouble getting up there. Um. I think. Well, he wouldn't have seen a big spider, but I'm trying to say. Fucking tarantula. I can't do anything with a fly speed, god damn it. Um, 
that yet. Right. <laughs> God damn it, flying snake. Um, you could do a giant wolf spider though. That doesn't have keen sense. Yeah, but then I'd be burning both of my things in one go. Yeah, we don't know if we're gonna have combat. Uh, could I, if I tried, like, if there's like footholds, and I'm like a rat. I'm well, I'm a giant rat, but I mean, like, could I maybe like sort of climb? Like, is it like a brick wall, or is it like like other indentations? It's a brick wall, yeah. Through? Okay, so like. Could I you potentially jump could jump from each uh, handhold. Um, you'd have to make a athletics check, although because you're a small creature, you're a small beast. Um, you, you know, like technically, an elephant can jump higher than a cat for some reason. Uh, rules is written. Uh, just use your dex instead of strength for your oh. jump. For Wait, I have a question. Check. My like stats still apply even though I've wild shaped. Uh, your mental ones. You so maintain like, the proficiencies, but you use the rat stats. What about my feats? You you I maintain think the feats those as well. Over to him. Yeah. So so with my athletic thing, how high up is is the wall? Uh, it's about. It's it's like a two story build two and a half story building because of an attic. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Then I have I have a climbing speed that's like equal to my walking speed. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah. You can just run up this thing. Yeah. Okay. Then he's just gonna. <laughs> run hey, up there. look at that. I yeah, I wasn't sure about that. Sorry, it's my first time playing a druid. Um. All right. Yeah. So he'll just <laughs> climb all the way up, and then like when he gets up, he'll like look down and go. <laughs> yeah, that's why moon druid barbarians are fucking scary. <laughs> Rage as a dinosaur. <laughs> oh God. Um, but yeah, and he'll I guess continue conti continue sn snorfing, seeing if he could continue following this trail. Um, uh, it seems to be gone up here. Can't really find it. Fuck. Do I see like anything of note? Um, you make a perception check, not an advantage because this is not smell. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let me try again. Let me try again. Okay. Hey, not bad. Uh, it's not much, but you do notice that there are some footprints. Um, large um, footprints that kind of have long claws on them. Uh, and you also see uh, two tracks, uh, like feet being dragged uh, next to it as well. Uh, going okay. off into the distance, and then it seems to disappear at the end of the roof as it goes towards, like, the far side, and uh, it just disappears. It looks like it walked towards the edge of the roof, and then it just vanishes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's going to... At this point... What's your passive investigation? Uh, passive investigation? 10 plus your investigation. Uh, Yikes, it's an 8. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, he's, um, he's gonna, like, come over to the edge, uh, and kind of start, mm, Reggie wouldn't be able to come up, uh, all right, he'll step. He'll step away from the edge and uh, turn back into himself, and he'll look down and he'll go, oh, "All right, brah. So I found like some footprints up here, and they look like super peculiar, brah." What do you What do you mean super peculiar? Like clawed feet. That's interesting. Um. I'm not sure what that would be. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I don't know. Um, oh, so I guess here's a question. 
um, when we were walking around with the uh, the Cobalts, uh, or 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 and uh, and the Kenku, um, <laughs> would would Kai have ever like maybe noticed the sort of like like their feet, like what their feet look like? Um, sort of like this, but much smaller, much smaller. In the case of the Cobalts. Yes. Okay, so he's just gonna be like, "Yeah, it might be like a big cobalt." But they got anything like that around here? Well, anything bigger than a cobalt at that point is more leaning towards something reptilian or humanoid dragon, uh, dragonborn, as they call them. Uh, actually, with your experience as a druid, uh, Kai. Now that you're thinking about it, it's not cobalt. It's not reptilian or anything like that. It seems to be more wolf-like. The the uh, tracks. Oh, wolf-like. And now that you actually take another look at the tracks, you see that it's actually four sets of feet with those claws. Oh. Okay. Wolf like, uh, yeah. All right. So like, Broski, I'm getting a better look at this, and it's more like a wolf than like one of our little cobalt friends. So I'm not sure. Like, are there such a thing as like dog or wolf people? Um, like maybe a race of like corgi people or something. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> Cole pipes up. It's like, well, there's those tales of werewolves. Oh, yeah. Werewolves. I think I heard of those, but, like, not the wolf version. The shark version. Excuse me? Yeah, they're called were sharks. They're, like, shark people that used to be people turned into sharks, but also not shark. It's wild. Never seen one though. No. All right, then. Um, <laughs> I really do not want to go back in the ocean. Now. Ah, oh, no, nah, dude. Like, <laughs> who even knows if they're real, bro? Like, dolphins like fucking with people. They're probably not real. There's this no... is true. It sounds like so unreal. But we're wolves. All right. Um, that's that's a lead. Uh, like, <laughs> do we just like start going around and asking if people know any werewolves? That would be mildly concerning, but maybe we could report this to the authorities with just this information. Now and then, we could hey, call it a wrap. Uh, Juan, uh, Cole also pipes up. I mean, we could potentially like set a trap for it. Like, I'd be willing we, to be bait. Uh, Cole, we're not going to put your life on the line for something that could probably eat you before we could save you. Well, I remember that the dolphins said that uh, powdered copper, like, really inflames, like, weir sharks' noses and stuff. So, like, maybe if we get some of that and give it to Cole here, he'll be a bit safer if, like... He gets jumped by a werewolf. Uh, Kai, make a um, make a history check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you're pretty sure it's copper. Yeah, Might be a different right. metal though. <laughs> If it's not copper, it's got to be, like, probably, like, gold. You could try both. I, I feel like, from the stories I've read, it would be more akin to silver. Silver. That clicks with you, Kai. Oh, that's what they said. Yeah, that one. Maybe it's, like, because in my mind I wanted copper to have a purpose. <laughs> 
I mean, you can make nice mugs out of copper. Oh, yeah. They're used as lightning rods sometimes. Oh, the long pipes up. Yes, yeah, so if you put three ingots in a in a straight line, you'll get a copper. You'll get a lightning rod. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, well, like I said, I never did like any of that smithing stuff. Kind of wasn't my shtick. Sorry, fourth wall breaking is Loki shtick. <laughs> but yeah. Sounds like we got a plan, yeah? A little bit of powdered silver. You know, like pocket sand. Pocket sand's like super useful. Uh, you do suspect that you could probably find more information on uh, werewolves and possibly get actual equipment to fight this thing uh, from the Adventuring Guild. Yeah, we should. We should go to the Adventurers Guild and like... Maybe get some help for this. Maybe maybe they can like provide us some silver or crush up some of our silver coins so that like coal here doesn't get insta dead. Yeah. That would be smart. Alright, so let's make our way over there and then get what we need and come back and prepare for this. Alright, yeah, that's right. Hold on, let me just like climb down this wall like a boss. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> All right, I'm on the ground now, Saw. <laughs> Forgot about the athlete, thank God. I hate myself. Hey, at least you remembered it. Yeah, yeah. So the four of you begin to make your way... Not begin. You make your way back to the Adventurers Guild, and you head off to the right wing. Uh, you notice that there is um, a booth where you can get information, uh, like a bestiary area. Uh, there's a, excuse me, fucking hell. Uh, there is a, um, a dragonborn at the desk kind of reading a newspaper, uh, but behind him there's rows and rows of books. Uh, you assume that like he's the guy that you look, at, look for to uh, check out a different, like a, book on different monsters and such uh but for what you're potentially looking for for the silver uh you want to head to the smith all right uh we'll make our way to the smith and go i'll simply just say hello um we are looking for a type of powdered silver or something sharp and made of silver uh we do believe that there might be some type of a lycanthrope causing a muck in the city. Uh, as he's hammering away, uh, the dwarf kind of is like, ah, oh, yeah, what a chase a lycanthrope that is. All right, uh, I see. Um, one sec. And he uh, takes the thing that he was hammering and sticks it in some water to cool it because it was red hot. Um, he then takes off his goggles, turns to look at the, the four of you, and he's like, okay, I haven't seen you in ages. Uh, Kai, Hi, you, you uh, recognize this guy as your third cousin that you've only seen once. Don't. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. You don't no, remember his to... name. <laughs> yeah, he's he's trying to like. Um. Oh, uh, Kai! I didn't know you had family. Uh, introduce me. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, um, my, my cousin, you know, um, we were, like, kind of tight back in the day, uh, it's, it's been a long time, you know, uh, he's a really I mean, I wouldn't say that we were tight, it was one family gathering we were at. Right, right, yeah, well, you know, like, the vibes were, were, like, they were there, you know, like. Yeah, you seemed cool. pretty spaced out to me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, like uh, puffing on that like grass there, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why they call me Reeferborn. I, I mean, what? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I, I had loaded that one a while ago. Uh, he just goes, right? Yeah. Um, he, it's, that's probably why. Yeah. Um, I don't like remember a lot about the family gathering. If I'm gonna be real, but it's, it's nice like, that your family finally came back to Manhestia after. Well, you were pretty young when it originally happened, but when your chase when your clan was chased off by a dragon, 
sailed the seas in your weird boat thing for a while, and then you finally crashed back on Manhestia. Oh, that's what happened? Whoa. <laughs> I thought we were, like, from somewhere else. Kind of made sense in my head, because, you know, like, I always kind of felt, like, a little different from regular dwarves, so, like... I mean, you were pretty young when uh, you were chased off, and uh, I think you would have been about. Uh, I mean, I was pretty young then too. I we were about the same age. Uh, you would have been about ten or so, actually. Oh. So yeah, pretty like... young for a dwarf. No wonder you don't remember it. I only know it because my uh, my folks told me. That's uh, yeah. I forget, like, a lot of stuff. Maybe you should cut back on that, uh, that, uh, that was plants, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Reggie, my, my cuz, cuz, Reggie. Yeah, uh, as Kai said, my name's Reggie. Herbert Gilbleforth. Yeah, nice to meet you, Hillbert. Anyway, uh, yes, back to the matter at hand, uh, where you need a weapon made of silver. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, it doesn't have to be a big sword, just something effective that we could use with dealing for a potential lycanthrope. Uh, well, it doesn't even have to be made of silver, it just needs to be coated in it. Uh, what sort Either of weapons or, do you I got? I have, uh, I pull out my rapier, my arrows, and my dagger. I'm like, this is all I've got on me in regards to metal weapons. Well, the rapier will likely be the easiest to, uh, to get silver. All you have to do is, uh, coat the tip in silver, as it's not really a slashing weapon. It's more of a stab-stab weapon. Yes, yes. Uh, how many, how long will the silver coating last for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh... Likely, if it's a rush job like this, it probably will only last a couple of days of constant use. That's uh, fine. That's fine. Um, but uh, how if much you will this run more me? Permanent. You know, it'll probably take a couple of days of work, actually. I we don't have that, so uh, a rush job is fine. Uh, how much do I owe you for such a thing? Oh, it's um probably about. Uh, well, usually we offer like different equipment to uh, guild members uh, at a discount. Uh, and, you know, got to make up costs somewhere. Uh, but uh, for this uh, family discount on top of the guild discount, uh, I'd say about um, ooh, five gold for uh, just tipping your, your rapier. All right, I'll pull out five gold from my pouch and hand it to him. Okay, uh, do you got anything I need work? I need to work on. Oh, no, don't worry about it, Hilbert. Bro. Like, I don't really do metal. I just got my um, you know, like my Carl quarterstaff here. You know, I bop him on the head with it. Kind of cuts him up sometimes too. I do got a um, a powder that uh, it's not really metallic. It's more like this magical dust or so. Uh, it doesn't enchant it per se, but it does make it magical for the purposes of overcoming resistances and immunities. Uh, but it doesn't give you a plus one or anything. Uh, if I'm just going off of the handbook I was given, you know, that all those weird jargon that you say with those stats and whatever. Uh, you know, the swords that have like a plus two to hit, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, right, this doesn't uh, give you a plus anything. This just makes it act magic. <laughs> I've never understood the sacred text myself, bro. Yes, um, people keep talking about it, but I don't understand it quite either. It's it's kind of uncanny. You probably should actually do your um, your personality test for your alignment and your uh, your other. No, no, I'm okay. I know what I am. Your uh, actual tests for your stats, so uh, your quests can be assigned more appropriately. Uh, they like to. Uh, actually assign uh, <clears throat> go more good people to actually do good things rather than sending uh, Jerry, the chaotic evil goblin, off to do some charity work off in uh, Getford. 
Yeah, oh, that happened once. That was a terrible day. So many dead children. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, um. Alright, maybe we should do that uh, down the line. Yeah, probably after this uh, <clears throat> werewolf thing, but. Yeah, so how much uh, for that silver powder, bruh? Oh, this, I. I got a shit ton of it back in the back. I mean, this thing only lasts for like, uh, say, like one encounter, you could say. Uh, you apply it as a, a bonus action, and it lasts God. for the encounter, and uh, that's it. But uh, I got a, a little pouch here for you, I, which I'm totally fine with giving it to the family free of charge. Um, uh, Reggie here, I was given the friends of family discount on top of the guild's discount but since you're actually family i'm uh, just giving you this bag for free it has about five uses in it so uh put in your inventory one bag of magic dust five uses Nice. This is a made-up item on the spot, by the way, and it sounds so cool. <laughs> I, I fuck with it. I, I, I oh, saw so the thing you, earlier. Yeah, Do I actually have this cleansing stone thing, or, or what? Oh, yeah, yeah you I, got the cleansing stone. Yeah, I gave oh, it to shit. you. What is that? What does that do again? Um, I don't think anyone identified it. No, we oh, don't okay, have identified so then, Yeah, then don't, don't tell me. Don't tell uh, me. There is a... um. Uh, you do know that there is, like, a service that you can have things identified. <laughs> okay. In the guild. Yeah. Um, uh, he would... I will need uh, about, like, half an hour to work on your uh, your rapier there, Reg. All right, so I'll hand over the rapier. And uh, it looks like you two there want something to say. You got anything? Uh, Cole looks up and is like, yeah, um, I'm going to be using myself as bait. Uh, do you have anything that might make me not taste as good for a werewolf? It's like, uh, let's see. He starts like ruffling, rifling through some drawers and shit, throwing things over his shoulder, and you hear like a few glass items break as it hits the wall behind him. So oh, here we go. This cream here, it, uh, it's got some silver made into it, and uh, all you do is like rub it on your skin. And uh, should they take a bite out of you, it will really hurt them. But uh, it's a one-time use thing. But uh, One bite, that's all it'll do. And uh, after that, it loses its potency. And uh, they better hope they don't bite again. Uh, that will be, uh, that'll be 20 gold. And... Uh, Cole gives him 20 gold and takes the cream. Uh, you can put that on at any time. Just make sure you do it before you're bitten because, uh, well, you know, it don't do you any good if you're bitten without it on. Uh, also, it does help prevent any uh, disease transferring over. So uh, you should that would be important. safe from the first bite uh, not to be... Uh, infected with the uh the lycanthrope is a or whatever the hell you call it yes uh, the proper term is lycanthrope but most people just say uh werewolf yeah you won't become a werewolf when you're bitten when you're bitten first by this guy uh second bite there's a good chance that you might depending on how hardy you are uh you seem like a regular common folk so uh, it's a 50 50 shot likely Well, uh, we sit and sit and wait. That's all we can do. Uh, Kai, uh, just a couple stalls down, you see there is the identifying uh, booth. Oh. All right. Uh, while the weapon gets silvered, I guess he'll head over there and and um. Uh, try and find out what the cleansing stone does. Uh, as you approach the booth, you see a little gnome. Uh. Kind of like wearing uh, these goggles that like 
extends super far out, like they're magnifying things. Uh, but they, they seem to be, like, zooming in and out uh, at will. Uh, oh, but he's currently, like, looking at this little orb and, like, kind of, like, fiddling with his fingers on it, like, and he's just muttering something, and then uh, one of the lenses of the goggles completely collapses, and he looks, and his eye looks pretty enlarged through these goggles, and you see it, like, kind of turn and look at you. It's like, oh! I got the, I got the new friend here! Saw, dude! What's up, bro? Oh, you, got, you have something you need identified in, then. Yeah, dude. Uh, so I got, like, this stone, and I'm not sure what it does. Alright, let's give it either me here. Uh, take some. Uh, give me about, uh, give me about a minute. Uh, no probs, Brody. Take your time. I'm gonna, Begin like... to cast a Tedify, and after a minute, he's like, oh! It uh, appears to be a cleansing stone. It, uh, you, uh, hmm. What's the proper terminology? Uh, you use an... What? Oh. Damn it! What's the, uh, what's the terminology that's authorized by the guild? Um, he grabs his book, his handbook, and he flips through it. He's like, ah, here you go. Uh, you use an action, and it cleanses your body of dirt and grime, and it also, uh, cleans any clothes you're wearing at the time. Uh, it, uh, can be used once per day. Holy fuck, oh. I, I, I slipped from Irish into Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> That's radical, bruh. It's like a bath without a bath, but for my clothes. You know, there, there are some spells that can uh, actually uh, do it better. Um, Precipitation is one. Uh, though it looks like you're a druid and uh, don't really have access to that. Uh, so this stone is probably the best you'll get. Unless um, he peeks over and say, like, uh, "Your friend there, uh, he, uh, I don't think, uh, no, no, he has no hope unless he multiclasses or something." <laughs> All right, bro. Well, thanks for that. Do I like owe you or not? Oh no, this is a free of charge, of course. The oh, first guy sweet. had to. The first guy that wanted it identified had to provide me the pearl, but uh, you let me keep it afterwards. So it uh, hasn't been an issue since. That was about uh, 60 years ago or so. I think he's dead now. <laughs> That's tubular. I think he's dead now. That's tubular. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else would Kai say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, all right, bro, Hamsky, I am <clears throat> going to head on down to the book, dude. And ask him about the wordy word books that I'm not, like, super good at reading or writing. And, like, find out what I can about wolf people. Wolf people? You mean, like, uh... Like... Wolf people? Or lycanthropes? Because there are both. Oh, like, uh, werewolves. There you go. All right. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that's a bit more concerning than uh, wolf people. Wolf people are, uh... Canids, they're, they're much like tabaxi, only dogs, so they're not much of an issue, but uh, they're relatively uncommon in these parts. Uh, all right, all right. That's good to know. All so right, well, thanks, head, broski. You head on over to the bestiary, and sitting there is a... Uh, Furbolg. Um, he seems to be like just kind of uh, drinking some tea and just kind of mellow with life of it all. So... Oh, hello. I'm glad you came, eh? So, uh, you, um, are you here to grab a bestiary book, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. It's my birdie from the Great White North. Hey, uh, I'm here to try and learn about like werewolves but not weird sharks uh that's a bit confusing eh that uh, you mentioned were sharks when you're talking about werewolves all you had to do was mention the wolf part but uh yeah give me one sec i'll uh, go and uh, grab that book for you <laughs> all right in his uh rolling chair he kind of like 
rolls back into the books and kind of disappears uh, behind a corner. And, like, you hear, like, some shuffling of books, but not like not like your cousin where he was throwing shit over his shoulder. It's very much like he's gently moving things. Uh, and after a few minutes, he comes back and um, he's like, oh, here we go. Got uh, a couple books on uh, werewolves, uh, uh, lycanthropes and where to find them, uh, lycanthropes and how not to find them, lycanthropes and how to kill them, lycanthropes and uh, how to avoid them, uh, lycanthropes and... Um, actually, that's a romance novel. Why is that here? Um Okay. I need to move that off to the site so that can be moved somewhere else. Um, oh, what's the uh, romance novel, bro? Yeah, it's like some. It's from like a series or something about this uh, this naive girl who's into vampires and werewolves or something. <laughs> I don't know. I I um. Oh my god, my accent keeps slipping all over the place. Yeah, you were Canadian, and now you're like... Then I went back to Scottish. I keep drifting to Scottish. Yeah, it uh, is about a, uh, some girls into vampires and werewolves, eh? And uh, I I don't know. It, uh, just from a quick glance at the uh, the back cover, it uh, seems super dumb. And uh, yeah, it has no place here. I'm pretty sure it's non it's not fiction. It's not non fiction at all. It's all uh, fiction. So that uh, needs to go off to uh, the actual uh, public library here. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, can I get the one on lycanthropes and how to, like, kill them? But uh, this is going to be a little bit of an odd request. I'm, like, not super good at wordy word books. So, like, could you maybe, like, read it to me? That is a service I don't provide, eh? Uh... Fortunately, I do have a lot of um, I do have a lot of things to do, eh? And uh, kind of like lifts up his his cup of tea. <laughs> if I like can't get through like one of the big words, can I just ask you how to like pronounce it? I mean, uh, sure, but don't you have a? Uh, oh my god, my accent! Fuck it, I'll just talk normally. Um, sure, but um, don't you have a party that can uh, help you with that? I, I mean, I got other things to do. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. I could ask Reggie or, like, Cole, maybe. I don't know about Juan, though. Like, he doesn't seem like the book kind of guy. But then You're again, actually Cole's a stall like... over from the blacksmith, and you hear Juan, like, kind of scoff at that remark. You get the <laughs> feeling that, like, He's like that guy at the meme that's standing in the corner of a party. He's like, they don't know that I write 15 books an hour. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, it doesn't seem like a book guy. But then at the same time, like Cole, he like stares off into the distance for long periods of time. So I feel like it'd be really hard to like get him to stay like reading. You know what? I'm going to ask Juan instead, maybe if like Reggie doesn't want to do it. Yeah, you know what, I'll ask Juan, and he'll just, like, take the book from the guy <laughs> and walk over to oh, Hold Juan on, come back, wait, 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 wait. Oh, all right, sorry, bro. Here, uh, he hands you a sheet of paper. Uh, it's like, that's, um, yeah, just fill that out, and um, I'll keep it oh, here. No. So, like, uh, you return the book, and uh, if you don't return the book, I'll have to find you. Oh, my God, my oh, <laughs> Just go my worst enemy. <laughs> He'll, he'll sign it, Kyrie for it, with the E's backwards, and then I'll just slide it over to him, not signing or filling out anything else about the sheet, and then I'll go, ah, got you, bro. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's been worse. Uh, yeah, just go, 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 go read your book. <clears throat> ah, thanks, Brisk. <laughs> And then, yeah, then he'll, he'll go over to Juan and just be like, ah, what's up, dude? Hey, uh, you need help with something? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I got this, like, wordy word book from, uh, the, uh, furry dude over there. And I'm not, like, super good at reading. And I was gonna ask Cole, but he kind of does, like, that thousand-yard stare thing. And He's actually in wanna... that well, in that uh, bit right now. <laughs> Oh, is he really? Like, he's actually doing it right now? Yeah, he's uh, he's leaning up against the wall, just kind of staring off into space. 
<laughs> yeah, and he just goes, um, yeah, so, like, <laughs> I kind of need, like, someone to help me read this, and <laughs> I don't know, like, what causes that, and it kind of makes me a little scared. I mean, like, I zone out, but, like, he really zones out. Like, bro's vegging, but he ain't even on the reef. <laughs> that's it. That's that shorthand for weed from now on. He's just going to call it the reef. <laughs> I, yeah, he Cole's been like that ever since um, ever since his, uh, uh Reggie's sister uh, got better. I don't know oh, why. Did he want her to, like, die or something? No, they were actually, um... <laughs> They sort of had a thing for each other, actually, and then um, uh, after they after she got better, it sort of became one sided. Uh, he was very much into her, but she wasn't. She gave him the time of day, but like it wasn't. I don't, it, I don't think it was a super healthy relationship for him, if I'm being honest. But you know, like I, I told him about it, but like he was like very adamant in maintaining it. So. I get that. It's kind of like when you crush the perfect wave, like when you ride your first like tube, you know, and you're going through it and there's just like this moment where time starts to like slow down and you could reach out your hand and kind of like touch the water as it rolls around you. And then like when you finally break from that barrel, it's just the most radical feeling in the world. And I kind of always wondered if, like, that's what it's like to be in love. Because, like, that's kind of, like, the same look that I've seen other surfers get. And, like, the same kind of feeling that I get is what, like, gets described to me by people that are in love, about love. But, like, I can only relate it to surfing. Because that's, like, my true love. You feel me? No, but give me that book and I'll read it to you. Okay, that's cool. Hey, he's no looking at you like you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's just riding his wave, bro. That's that's what he's doing. Sometimes a man's just gotta ride. They just gotta surf. Uh, yeah, he takes the book from you and starts reading it aloud. Um, uh, basically, the gist of it is to kill a werewolf or injure it, you need uh, a weapon covered in silver or magical. Um, Non-magical weapons don't do anything against them. Uh, And uh, you actually either need something covered or made of silver or magic to actually scratch them. Okay, okay. Uh, It also mentions that if you are bitten, uh, you uh, do have to make a um, you have to your your constitution has to make a save against the um, the the curse or disease. Um, oh, yeah. Scholars aren't argue to this day about whether or not it's a curse or disease. Um, <laughs> but uh, the the proponents for um, the 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 disease size say like it's. It's, it's it, lycanthrope is very much a disease because it, it, it acts like one you're bitten and it's transferred uh whereas the ones for curse like only remove curse actually removes it so therefore it's a curse so it, there's things of both sides so um so it's like a curse that takes the form of a disease Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, Alright, so uh, reading this kind of eats up the rest of the time that you're waiting for the uh, rapier to be done. Uh, once it's done, uh, Hilbert gives Reggie his rapier back. Uh, oh, thank you kindly. And uh, you know that this guy seems to hunt uh, late at night in uh, kind of the eastern part of the city. Uh, And right now you got about about four hours or so before nightfall. Uh, So you can kill some time. uh, I say we relaxing. Rest up. 
rest up, do what we need to do, and prepare for this encounter. I'm, I'm going to take a short rest to try to regain those hit points I lost earlier. Okay. <laughs> write that down, write that down. I didn't need that many, but I'll take it. Just need five of that. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll... Yo, got my health back. Nice. Incredible. Um, I won't really do all that much. I'll just, like, sit around and make small talk with everyone about everything and, you know, just chat it up. Yeah, you're talking with everyone, talk about the day, talk about Cheap Cheap and his gang. Um, uh, Cole seems to be super relaxed uh, by this. He um, Occasionally, like, he just stares off at the space like he usually does. Uh, but, um, yeah, he seems very... Um, what's the word? Um, unconcerned. He, he's not worried at all. Juan, however, is a bit nervous. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much, Juan. I'm sure if they're nothing too crazy, we'll deal with them post-haste. Plus, we're ready now. Cole has his protection from a bite. Um, I've tipped my rapier, so I'll be able to hurt them a lot more. And Kai's got whatever he's got. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Magic powder. Yes, um, so I, I don't think you have anything to worry about, but if you want, you could stay here, and we'll meet you back here. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, I wouldn't want to get in the way. Plus, I'm no help anyways. I wouldn't say that. You're plenty of help. It's just your mom would shine elsewhere. Covered. Yes. And then after that, I'll just I would just wait until the time comes for us to go. Kyle, be like, <clears throat> you're a real Braham one, you know. I appreciate it. Thanks for reading the book to me, Brad. You're welcome. Uh, though it would be better if you learned how to read yourself. I mean, like I know a little bit, but like the big words are kind of like tough. I mean, like, I know how to spell-ish, so... I mean, first uh, you need to fix your E's. There's something wrong with my E's? They're backwards. Oh, shit, bro. And uh, you hear that? It registers. You realize every time you've written your E's have been backwards. You have that brief moment of, like... Oh my god, what have I been doing my whole life? <laughs> and it immediately leaves your brain and you don't care. <laughs> Whoa. I just like experienced uh, ascendance. <laughs> <laughs> After the uh, rest, um, you head out into the city to... Um, Go out into the city to um, go find a good place to uh, watch uh, Cole as he uh, pretends to uh, be a man of the night. All right, um, I'm gonna try to hide. All right, make uh, stealth checks. Oh, you know, it's just a twenty-six. Yeah, uh, Kai. Oh shit, okay. Alright, 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 alright! Oh! Not, not terrible. Uh, and, um, Carl. Oh, like Carl. <laughs> Cole. Carl. Make a, uh, performance. I was gonna say, he ain't hiding. Ooh. 
never mind. Plus six. Wow. He's a bard. He's barring it up. He's an entertainer. Um, actually, this kind of is his curfew, so I'll give him an advantage. Okay, that's better. Um, so, as the hours pass, uh, you see... Um, Uh, you see, excuse me, uh, Cole kind of like uh, put, playing the part. He's he's doing pretty well. Um, you almost think like he kind of does this. <laughs> like he almost is like too good at this. Oh my god. Um, uh, uh, uh but uh, as the hour, as as the night kind of stretches on, um, uh, eventually it's uh, uh, you realize that uh, uh, Reg, you notice that there has been a human individual kind of watching him. From like the side, just, just looking, not really approaching, but just kind of standing off in the dark. Okay. Um, if I see him or anything that is approaching Cole with a hostile intent, can I r quick draw my rapier and do a little cool, big, good old little stab stab into them? Uh, they're across the street from you. You're not. No, I, I know. I, I know they're across the street. I know they're not looking. They're not directly here. But I'm saying, like, if anyone does that. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You could. Uh, you can ready your action for that. Yeah, essentially, I'm just gonna be readying my action continuously to um run and lunge at whatever is going to call at with a hostile intent. Mm -hmm. Like you know, yeah. if someone walks by, I'm not gonna just fucking stab him. But yeah. give me a second, cause I want to. Hey, what? Uh, oh, a second, my bad. I thought you were asking me to do a check. No, no, I'm, uh... Let me just, uh, set this up. Send up a little map. How's everyone doing? I'm good. Getting a little bit tired, but we're near the end. <clears throat> yeah. I'll be all right. I think this might be a situation where combat's next session. <laughs> That's if it is actual combat and not um, just some dog man hybrid who's just really, really, really in heat. I mean, there's still another hour or so, because it usually ends at 10 for me. Long time. Yeah. But, uh, but combat takes a while. Uh, This wouldn't take long. Oh, okay. So we are going to combat. Noted. All right. Uh, let me move you guys here. And... What you can see is like the streets and sidewalks. So the 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 these boxes are is the street, and then like these bits are the sidewalk. Okay. Uh, there's people and moving around. This guy is. Um, 
and where we set up. You are over here, kind of a bit further up, but um, you're you're up there. Yeah, I, I get you. Uh, yeah, I'm just yeah, watching and waiting. Uh, as you uh, look up in the sky, it's actually a uh, oh, what's the face of it? Just for fun. I was like, just I was gonna say, just look it up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Then I realized, uh, it, it ain't no is real moon. A quarter moon. Oh. Uh, almost a quarter moon. It's uh, it's like a three eighths moon. Not three eighths. A fuck. <laughs> a one eighth moon. No, that's not right at all. Two twelfths. There we go. Um, and, uh, it's getting about the time that, uh, these kidnappings usually happen. Um, and, uh, finally this guy starts to approach. Seems to, um, wait for, like, some carts to pass by. There's not a lot of traffic, but, um, finally he begins to move. And uh, then he looks around and um, look, look hostile. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from this distance. Like the uh, the you're human; you don't really see in the dark too well. Yeah. Uh, but with your passive perception, it's hard. Even with your passive perception, it's hard to tell. Actually, make a perception check because you're actively watching. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell exactly, but um, he definitely seems to be watching uh, Cole. I'm going to look over at Kai and like give a notion that we might have to uh, get ready. <clears throat> he'll, uh, he'll give you a nod. Uh, and um, actually, yeah, uh, probably a good time to roll initiative. Just to uh, get an order for things. Very well. I still got that hold action thing going on. Yeah. So And I'm still in stealth, right? Yes. Right, that's important because oh, I, I can um, sneak attack. You're not in range. You can't move as part of the hold action. Oh yeah, that's true. So uh I, I guess I'll just have to run up and hope. I need to give this guy a sheet, because oh my fucking god. Just make like a default sheet and just go Cole. Uh, it's not Add Cole. nothing to it besides just his it's name. It's not Cole, oh. it's uh, the guy. This is Dex, okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, he will roll initiative. Okay, he's going last. <laughs> okay, um... So he hasn't moved yet, but um, Reggie, you're 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 still watching. It's your turn. Well, Kai was going first because he had a seventeen. Oh, oh he has a seventeen. Fuck, I need to reorder. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Kai, uh, you you've been uh, the guy's been pointed out to you, but uh, he hasn't really made any moves yet. Alrighty, um, me. Let me check a little something here. So this guy's here, and he's about there. So... I am going to... Fuck, I don't really have... I have, like, no ranged spells. 
Hi, Karumba. Uh, oh, I know what I have. Hold on. Yeah, I have a short bow. So, um, I will... I'll hold an action if if he... The specific trigger would be, like, not even so much if he just goes over there, but more like if this person approaching our friend uh, takes any sort of hostile action, like it looks like he's going to accost him in any way, then I will let that arrow fly. Uh, you I'll... do know that your arrows are not silvered. <laughs> so if this man is a lycanthrope, it won't do anything to him other than, like, annoy him. Does it have to be the bow or the arrows that I would put in the powder? Um, the it takes a bonus action to apply it. Um, so you could use your bonus action to put it on and then hold your action. Uh, I'd say it'd be the bow. The bow? Because uh, like, right. it will come off on the arrow. Okay. okay. Alright, yeah, so then yeah, I'll bonus action, put it on the bow, and then I'll hold the action to shoot with the arrow. Oh yeah, sorry. That that's that's all from me. Okay. Uh, Reg. Reggie. Reggie, my dear boy. Oh, my apologies. Sorry, I kind of zoned out for a bit. Um. I guess as my bonus action, can uh, hmm. I don't want to move like too easy. I guess as my bonus, my action and everything, can I stealth like move up along the edge here and try not to be seen? Sure. Do you think that would be too risky for me? Uh, you know, I would do it anyway. I'm committing. So I guess like action or bonus action because i could do my uh cunning action thing as a i mean you're already hidden he doesn't know you're there okay so i'm just gonna move up as probably like right here that's where i feel comfortable with and then uh i'll just be at the ready i'm not gonna ready an attack or anything because there's not really much i could do my silvered weapon is my stabbing one so I will end my turn there. Okay. Uh, all right. It is the guy's turn. And um, he... Uh, what's his... Senses. Wait. That does not have night vision. Okay. That's... That's the bad guy? Yep. Okay. Um, he then uh, begins to cross the street. Uh, actually, what's his movement? Uh, so that's 25. So he gets here and goes to uh grapple um uh grapple coal he's sort of expecting this uh, and uh coal will make a uh, what's coal strength okay it's just a 20 is grapple and in a moment you see um you see this guy shift uh -oh. uh, did you have an attack at ready <laughs> richie yeah yeah you you uh roll to um mm, you'll be able to finish changing before you attack 
Oh, not that it matters. Yeah. Um, yeah, roll to roll to hit. Okay. Pew! <gasps> oh! No! Oh yeah. God, oh uh, God, he God. turns into a dire wolf and seems oh. to, like, kind of have um, Cole's clothes in his jaws. Um, Kai, roll damage. Five. Yo! Okay. Uh... Oh, shit. Fuck. I tried to token his health. There we go. Um, he's actually not a guy anymore. Oh no. Uh, he's a dire wolf. <laughs> the situation is dire. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, the situation has become dire. The situation has escalated. Uh, you take a nice chunk out of his shoulder and kind of snarls at you, but uh, then he drags Cole one step this way. Oh shit. Uh, Kai. Okay, 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 okay. Spells, spells, spells. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to... Let me, let me plan this out real quick. Or you don't have monk movement. You only have 25 feet. You're right. I don't have monk movement, but if I do it like this, hold on, and then down like that, I am going to, in a 20-foot cube, here, let me uh, pop that up, cast t Entangle. Ooh. Uh, strength saving throw, or be restrained. I need to make sure he doesn't have a strength saving throw. Yep, okay. Uh... Fuck, he rolls like shit. Yeah, he's him. restrained. Suck a fool, I got you. So, it's like... Pink Carl. Okay. Uh, that's, your, that's your action. Do you have anything else? Uh, I can't wild chip or anything as a bonus action, but I'm going to move up to... 25 feet. I'm going to do 20 feet. I'm going to go right there. Boop. I think that's right there. Yep. And, uh... Order me back one. Yeah, right there. Um, <clears throat> And, uh... That will be my turn. Alright. Reg, uh, you see Cole is actually kind of freaked out right now. I will... I mean, he's startled, but he's not, like, panicking. I'll move up next to him, and I don't think I have my advantage, but because of how sneak attacks worded, Cole's technically an ally within five uh, feet of me. He's restrained. You have advantage. Oh, the wolf guy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Unless you're can, trying can, to help free. Can, um... can. I'm going to take out my silver-tipped rapier, and I'm going to go for it. Yeah. That uh, hits. Spell damage. That 20 would have been perfect on that. Uh... Uh, the, the wolf kind of like winces and like snarls at you back. Um, all right, is that uh, your turn? Yes, I'm gonna have to call it there because there's not much else I could do. Okay, so uh, it is the wolf's turn. Uh, he looks at um, you, <laughs> Reg, and not happy. Uh, so he's gonna go and take a bite out of you. Sixteen. Yeah, that, which means yeah, he does hit. let go of Kai. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that does hit. Uh, take nine piercing damage and roll a Constitution saving throw. Oof. Wish me luck. Oof. 
Everyone's becoming lichens. Alright. Uh, <laughs> as a bonus action, he's going to attempt to break out of the plants. What? That's an action! <laughs> uh, he has an ability that lets him break out of restraints as a bonus action. Ooh. <laughs> have been entangled by the Carl. <laughs> right, Kai. Very good. He will, because that is, it is concentration. So I will uh, take another shot with my short bow. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! That <Ooh>. hits. <gasps> ah! Ho ho! Is that your turn? Uh, and he will move. Beep. Boop. And. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. Let me quickly yeah, roll initiative for Kai. Uh, Cole, just to see <laughs> where he would be. See if he could actually get away. Uh, D20 plus. Oh yeah, he he, uh, he uh, disengages and um, moves up here. So now he's out of range of the thing. Nice. Uh -huh. All right, uh, Reg. All right. Uh, after being bit and feeling whatever's coursing through me, coursing through me, I'm kind of a little bit angry and upset. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try to do this on him as my bonus action. Mm -hmm. So we have to make an inside check against his deception. And now I get sneak attack. I mean, you have sneak attack anyways because he's restrained. You have advantage on him. Fuck. Yeah, he's, he's still restrained. But if he ever gets unrestrained, you still have it for a minute. Okay. Uh, again, rapier. hey -ya! That hits. Oh, perfect. I mean, he Actually, he's restrained. Roll advantage. Oh, uh, that's why. <laughs> God damn it, if only. You know, all these rogues getting their natural 20s, and then there's just me sitting here. Yeah, so, uh, b -b 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 15 damage. Okay. Uh, Tip the rapier. I don't know if that does any extra, but it's happening. It, then... it's, it's damaging him. It's not doing any extra. I'm going to back up. This is going to be a mistake, but I'm going to back up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to get over here right, next to Kai. He's going to do an opportunity attack. That will miss. Yep. Uh, he's going to uh, let out a howl as his action uh, and um, then he will uh, attempt to break out of the restraints again as a bonus action that does oh. it I think uh, yeah uh, and he will move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 25, 30, 35 he starts moving away uh, cool and uh, I will um, uh, okay. Uh, he howled, and now 1d2 wolves will show up in, in 1d4 turns. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but like... Oh, he's <laughs> running away. Fuck. Yeah, he's running he's, away. He was hiding underneath my turn order. Yeah. Oh, oh that should be a 13. Hip. Uh... Now it is um, Kai's turn. 
Okay. I'm gonna run to here. And then I'm going to drop concentration uh, on entangle to cast entangle again. <laughs> All right, go for it. So I'll just I'll put that in the chat. Mark down the spell slot. He makes the save. <laughs> Oh no! How fucking dare I would have moved it to like right over here. Oh fuck, that went in the wrong spot, but it is what it is. Um how fucking dare he Uh shit, that was my action. Um, and I did my movement, and the only bonus action I have that's a cantrip is Shillelagh, and he is nowhere near me, so I suffer, and that's my turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, uh, Reg. All right. Um, let's read this again real quick. Um, I'm gonna take my bonus action to dash. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. I'm gonna run right up on him. Uh, you have to make a strength saving throw. Fuck. God. Uh, Angle. Right here. Okay. Hey. No, it's um, it's only a creature in the area when I cast the spell. Oh, when it's not cast? You, not when they yeah. first enter it? Yeah, no, not when they first enter it, unfortunately. I think that's the other one, like the higher level one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah no, no strength to throw necessary. Okay, thank god, because it's bad. Uh, I'm going to try to stab him with the rapier. No sneak attack, okay. I know. Uh, uh, you still have sneak attack because of your thing. That does hit, but it's not, not an advantage. I yeah, forgot you have, you about the advantage, attack. too. I'm just going to click ad advantage and then whatever the first number is. No, you don't you have that. advantage. You still have the sneak attack because you're insightful fighting. Oh, okay. My bad. Sorry. I'm a bit confused. Uh, so 11 hits, you said? Yeah. Okay. And I've already all clicked that. So, wow. Thanks, Ian. Uh, uh, the wolf is not looking great. Uh, Neither am I. <laughs> But uh, yeah, five more feet of movement, so I'll just pivot up right here. Behind you, up on the roof, you see another dire wolf poke its head over, and it leaps down uh, onto the ground and shifts into a person. Oh, fuck, dude! Uh, that is that's his action. And uh, he will approach you, stand next to you. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me do a quick. Uh, spell stick. Okay. Uh, oh shit! Okay. Uh, so now it's this wolf's turn. Uh, and he's going to go for a bite on you at advantage because of pack tactics. Oh, fuck. Yep, that'll hit. Six piercing. Don't need to make a con save. Yeah, I am not looking good at all. Uh... Now, uh, it is uh, almost from nowhere. Like, it's you thought you had a good awareness of the surroundings, but suddenly, like, she seems to come out of the building behind you. 
but your sister, um, what was her name? Uh, Katrina. Your sister Katrina is here. And she looks uh -huh. at you, it's like, Oh, Reg, why are you always getting into such issues? You're... You're not here right now, you're an illusion. Uh, Kai, you see him. <laughs> you see her. And, um... Uh, what was... What was... Holtz? That's me, okay. Um... And she will, um... Make an attack on, um... On, uh... The human wolf next to you. Oh, it's... Okay, and he takes six damage. Oh shit! I'm sorry, my dad came in. Is this uh, is this his sister? This yeah, is this is Katrina. Ah. Uh, Next turn is, well, uh, technically it would be Kai, but uh, Cole comes running back around the corner, and he looks excited. And she uh, kind of turns and looks at him and gives him a wink. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Kai. Okay. Um, let's see what I can do here. Uh... He is going to... Oh good, I can get right there. I'm going to get right here. I'm going to do... Bonus action on the cantrip for Shillelagh, which I don't think that drops concentration on the other thing, but I'm going to end up probably doing that anyway. But, um... It's not concentration, but I just realized shillelagh makes your thing magical. You don't need the dust at all. But you put it on the bow, so it, it doesn't matter. You're putting it on your staff. Yeah, and he's going to um, he's gonna bonk yep. with the staff. Right. Roll to attack. Give him a... Add. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, wait. Do I have flanking on this Good. guy? Yeah, yeah, actually roll at advantage. Oh, come on, baby. That does hit. Yo. Oh, pop. Crack him in the noggin. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to drop Entangle, and then I'm going to... Uh, oh, is this... Is this touch? God damn it, it's touch. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, tiny legs. I know it's literally tiny legs. I think I think with um Doctor Strange they have thirty now because like people were <laughs> Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. They they gave them thirty because like they thought it was stupid. It's like you're a medium creature. Why are we stunting you by five feet? That's fucked up and and racist to short people. So um. They changed it, but I'm not going to ask you to change it because I think it's kind of funny. I mean, they're still legible for um, Stout Nimbleness, too, so that they can get 35. Oh. If they pick that up. Oh, shit. Um, all right, well, I can't, I can't reach you right now to heal you, so I'm going to try and see if I can distract it by doing something kind of stupid, so I'm going to... Yeah, you can use your bonus action for this. Well, I already used my bonus action. That was your, oh, and you used your Sh action to attack. Oh, use oh. your action to attack, yeah. God damn it, you're right. You're right. The bonus action is just imbuing it. Oh, son of a bitch. I keep forgetting that. I'm thinking it's a bonus action attack. Uh, Unfortunately, it is not. Yeah, the, all right, then that's my turn. Okay. Reg, <laughs> the dire wolf looks like it's on death's door uh the guy next to you he's hurt but he's still okay and of course your sister's here i am going to 
Oh my god, I got a cramp in my jaw. Hang on. Uh, okay, I'm okay now. I'm going to try to put this guy down. This, this would be... Gone. Uh, so drop that. No advantage, but rape your attack. Yeah. That hits. You have sneak attack. Because of uh, uh, insightful fighting. 19! Uh, and you manage to stab him right through the eye. Uh, expecting oh it to shift back into a human as most shape team changers return to their normal form when they uh, when they're killed, this thing stays as a wolf and slumps to the floor. Oh god, we weren't supposed to kill these things. But this is fine because this was actually a monster. All right, uh, so this guy is dead. I don't think there was a way for us to non-lethally do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could have I mean, made a non-lethal strike to knock him out. Yeah, but in all honesty, it's a monster, and if we have proof, they'll understand. Yeah, werewolves are... <laughs> I think I think they'll be all right with us. But like, oh, yeah, those things spread <laughs> like they did already to Reggie. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, um... Something's off about this werewolf. Might... Because it didn't return to the its original form. That you fought. Oh, no. I can't believe you stole our ideas back from Wild West. That means it's a pure blood. <laughs> no. Yeah. Joking, joking. I love you. It might be a wolfware. <laughs> <gasps> a what? No, no it's a were human. Yeah, it's a were human. <laughs> uh, in the in the thing I have, it's called a wolfware. Oh my god. Uh, this guy's turn. He's gonna make a long sword attack on um, on Kai because he just pissed him off. Hell yeah! Hey, yeah, go for Kai. That should oh, be an advantage, that but that's fifteen. Yeah, that's gonna hit me. Seven. Oof. Ouchie. And uh, that's his turn. Now it is Katrina's turn um and she's going to look at um look at this guy and um and he has to make a wisdom save he just makes it <laughs> okay uh, so that's her turn. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Uh, Kai. I'm gonna strafe right here. And I'm going to... I'm going to... What's the highest I can do? That. Okay. I'm gonna... Slap my baby boy Reggie here with a nice heal wounds, cure wounds. 16. That'll put me back up to full. Yo! And, um, honestly, there's nothing else I can do, so that'll be my turn. Okay, Reg. I am going to kill this man. Fuck him up. Because I have advantage. If he's actually a lichen, the silver's gonna hurt him. Uh, you don't have advantage in the position that you're currently in. Strafe, 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 strafe. Ah! Now you do. <laughs> My bad. I meant sneak attack, not advantage, but whatever. Now I have sneak attack huh? and advantage. Yes! Yo! Roll damage. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh. Fuck. Uh... That sneak could have been better, but I'll take all that. Yeah, I bet because the silver does like double, he's fucking dead. <laughs> it doesn't I've been seem like for it's baby. doing double. It, at the very least, it seems to be hurting him, but not oh, shit. double. Fuck. Uh, you remember Let's from go, the book, baby. Kai, that it does fuck all if it's not silvered or magic. Right, right, right. Let's go, baby. Finally got that net 20 I've been looking for. Beautimus. Beautiful. Okay, uh, now it is this guy's turn. He's... <laughs> with you uh with you reg uh so he's going to 
think that was long sword strike at you. Yep. Seven damage. Ow. Now it is uh, your sister's turn. Um, she's not happy about last turn, uh, so she's going to attempt to uh, attack this guy again. Nat fucking 20. Uh, yeah. So that's... Yeah. It's fucking poggerlicious. We got this. Takes seven damage. He's looking about as bad as the wolf uh, was before you killed him. Finish him, Kai. I need to finish him. Finish him. Get your, get your second kill of the campaign. Let's get it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, come on. Boop! That hits. Die. <laughs> That's just enough to kill. How do you want to do this? Okay, alright, so like, he's getting all fucked up and everything, and like, maybe like, he's, he, he doesn't know like, who who to watch, because he just got hit like, really big by Reggie, and then he just got hit really big by, by his sister, and then he forgets little old me behind him, so I just kind of like, come up behind him, wind up comically, and just dunk like a coconut right on his head with the fucking <laughs> crushing his skull. <laughs> you might have fractured his skull, but like that didn't kill him. He is actually knocked unconscious. Uh, you see the light kind of drain from his eyes, and he tips over and hits his head on the curb, and blood starts spilling out. Uh, that definitely killed him. Um... <laughs> His body starts to, like, contort uh, and is then replaced with a dire wolf. Oh, God. Uh, that is dead. So, all right, monsters. So we were fine. We could get away with this, the fact that they're dead. But um, I feel something coursing through my blood. Aww. Should we, like, get we should... trophies? Yes, uh, we need trophies, and uh, I need some type of medical attention because I, ooh, um, I feel something running through me, and I don't like it. Your sister will actually kind of put her hand on your cheek and just like, it'll be okay, and casts uh, remove curse on you. Oh, what? <laughs> don't complain. We take it. <laughs> we take those. We take those. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, Katrina. I never thought I'd find you here after everything that's happened. Oh, you know, it wasn't exactly my decision. I know I had to support it, but um, you know how stepfathers like. I. Oh, who was more mother, but you know. Oh well. Both of them. There was kind of an agreement, sort of. Well. <sighs> I hate to admit it openly, but I'm happy you're here. Uh, she will um, kind of move towards you, Kai. It's like, oh, so who are you? And she kind of looks very um, interested. Saw! So, he like throws up the shaka, and he's like, ha, name's Kai, Kai Reefborn. Yeah, you could just call me Kai, though. Uh, I'm like, in communication with the natures of the ocean, brah. Oh, is that so? She kind of like, almost like um, in a seductive kind of way says that. And make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. Through that. God, she's fucking flirting with you. Wisdom saving throw. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait, not at advantage. Oh! Dylan, meet me in secrets. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, so as she looks into your eyes, you feel her gaze just kind of reach into your very soul. And you just feel compelled to, like, do whatever she asks of you. And you hear in your mind, you'll help me do whatever I need you to do, whenever I need you to do. But for now, just help my little brother. Uh, toots, I was just going to do that anyway. You're, you're saying this all in your brain right now. 
You're not actually <laughs> saying it out loud. You're just kind of staring at her right now. Yeah, so yeah, he'll say it in his brain. He'll just be like, yeah, tits. I was just going to do that anyway. And she just kind of smiles and uh, you feel compelled to kind of like reach out and like grab her hand and like kiss her hand, you know, like how like princes do or whatever. Oh, God, he doesn't do that stuff. But yeah, uh, do We'll it. move back to a voice for you to do that, though. All right, yeah. I was alone in here. <laughs> <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> no. Forgot to roll uh, initiative. Fuck. Um, Hor- Kyle, I'm a horrible player. Kyle just kind of like uh, outstretch his hand almost as if like for a handshake. She extends her hand kind of daintily. Yeah, he'll, he'll take it and he'll like give it a kiss and be like, I'm going to walk up. Beh- I'm gonna walk up behind her and give her like a little smack on the back of the head as strong as I can, which isn't much. Ow! Um, and I'm just gonna go. Sh- quit the act. You know I can't hurt anyone with these weak arms. Yeah, but it's still startling, of course. Well, maybe I don't appreciate you working your magic on my new friends. I wasn't trying to. I mean, it's not my fault if he just wants to appreciate who I am. Enough of it. Kai, snap out of it. I'm just gonna, like, walk over to him and, like, put my hand on, like, the top of his head and, like, give him a little shake. Oh, uh, what? (laughs) What's good, Brody? Nothing, uh, we need to take trophies. Uh, But if, uh, if it's all all the same to you, I'd like to catch up with, uh, Cole here, so uh, we'll head off for now. Cole, you know where to meet us. Be safe. Yeah. Uh, she starts heading off, and Cole actually has already wandered around. I forgot to move him, but like he kind of like whispers in your ear. Um, Kai is like, "Isn't she amazing?" Oh, and like dude, they head off so... together. I would have definitely heard that with my. Oh yeah, you definitely <laughs> heard it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> oh. they've, they've they've left. I don't fall for her charm. Uh, she's pretty, like, bodacious. Live with her f- for all of your life, then come back to me about that. Uh, I'm not like a marriage kind of dude, bruh. I like to keep myself free, like the ocean. I didn't mean like that, God. I don't but, know, uh, Let's just take some trophies and head back to the the guard and show them, tell them where they can find these. It is them late at night. <laughs> there's yeah, gotta sure. be one person awake. Yeah, yeah. there's a night watch. Gotta be. Um, no, he just goes, you yeah, Terrence, but, uh, you're gonna have to, like, cut their heads off or something, cause, like, I don't have a blade, so. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'll, all I have is this dagger, so, here we go. I'm gonna now that they're dead, the dagger seems to be cutting them just fine. All right, so two werewolf slash direwolf trophies. Uh, yeah, put it in your inventory. Two uh, wolf wares, wolf wear tr- trophies. Wolf wares. God damn it, Machine does this thing where like if I minimize it, it like glitches out and it just won't work. All right, Brad. We should find the guard and then take a well-deserved siesta. Oh, yes. Um, We'll make our way over to the guard house. <laughs> All right. You do so and you enter and there's only one guy currently at the front desk. Uh, he looks up like, aren't you? I think you guys are in here earlier. I was told about yes. uh, two people came in for that, uh, that kidnapping thing. Yes, we have... Um... We found information on the disappearances on the streets and such. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it turns out there was not a person at all. There were monsters of some kind. People that sh- or wolves that were able to shift into people or vice versa. And they were stealing people and bringing them to wherever they go. go. Um, Do you drop the heads on his desk? Yes, I'm just gonna... He kind of like almost jumps back in his chair. <laughs> it's like, I, fucking hell. I know. I know your boss said try to keep them alive, but we came to the decision mid-combat that these are monsters, not people, and... Yeah, I I, I don't... uh, You saw there were lycanthropes changed. 
uh, he pulls out like a little manual. It's like there's like a little tiny section in his like uh, different uh, how to like contain different entities. So like there's like you see in the book there's like wizards and um, in the wizard section it says like bind their hands and gag them. <laughs> um, and then you get down, uh, lower in the page is like lycanthrope. It's like um, it's like good luck, basically what it says. <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about these two. Their hurting days are over. Their bodies are. And I'm gonna just tell them where the bodies are. Okay. Okay. Like in relation um, to the guardhouse. That down. Uh, did you find any uh, any clues on where the uh, the people might be kept? Uh, unfortunately, nah, Brody. The, tra- the trail uh, went cold. Yeah. I mean, we could have followed them back, but like. The guy we were the... risking one of our friends on the line, and yeah, he was we couldn't afford to let anything help it happen to them. Okay, okay, that, that, that makes sense. Um, All we know is that they uh, they would traverse rooftops to travel, so maybe stretch out your search to the rooftops. That'll help. And if there was two, there might be more. Um, there can't yes, be like that, many that would explain though. how so many people have gone missing in such a short amount of time. Um, well, uh, maybe they're like hiding in the sewers or something. That's possible. The sewers and the tunnels and the wall stretch for miles. Um, yeah, but the wall is like dangerous. I feel like they'd probably go in the sewers, bruh. Uh, Reggie, you know from experience that some sections of the wall are actually relatively safe, but there are some parts that are like, do not go in. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, Kai just only experienced the dangerous part, so. And what you experienced was actually relatively mild. Uh, Reggie wouldn't call that, uh, compared to what he's seen, super dangerous. Uh, But yeah, you uh, turn that in, and um, uh, he thanks you for your effort, and that you'll be contacted uh, later. Um... And uh, you head over to the um, uh, Venturing Guild, and you go and sleep. Sleep. Take a long rest. You're going to be sleeping in tonight. Yep. And that's where we'll call it. Hey. Nice. That's the end. Woo! Woo!